Liberty Cup finals. Uh, I'm joined, although at some distance, by uh, Jason Hayward. So I'm in the gantry and Jason's uh, in the production booth. Well, why have we put you all the way down there? I don't know. I, I can't work out why I'm all the way down here. No, I, I don't know. I could have sat next to you, couldn't yeah. I? And saved a whole heap of setting up. Um, anyway, good evening, Jason. Uh, yeah, I thought I was doing the intro. Oh. I, I was kind of ready. Oh. We're live in three, two, one, uh, eight, oh. and then you you jumped in. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, okay. So um, this is going to be uh, a real experience for anyone who's not encountered walking football before, because this is going to be an absolutely phenomenal night in this uh, County Cup final for walking football, sponsored, of course, by. Uh, taking care, but the broadcast brought to you by Elevate, the player development app for people of all ages. So, you know, the youths, uh, disability players, all the adult players, all the way up to these walking football guys. That's, that's over to you now. Yeah, well, thanks. <laughs> thanks, Jess. Ah, okay. Um, <laughs> to me, to you. Well, welcome to a, to a very hot and sunny um, Coach Road. What a day it's been, Jace. Baking. It's absolutely baking here today. Um yeah. So yeah, as 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 you can see, we've got uh, four pitches on the go at once here. Yep. Um, so yeah, we're in for a, a fun-filled evening of football. Yeah, we'll do our best to bring you as much action as we can. Uh, you know, we've got cameras covering uh, most of the ground. Uh, it's, it's difficult for us to keep track of the scores. Uh, and yeah, we'll try and grab people to come up and chat on your on your spare mic as they can. Might even try and get. Uh, your esteemed administration colleague that sat next to you mm -hmm. on the live pool. You mean the boss? Well, no, she is at well, your boss. Yeah, she is a little reluctant at the moment. But she I'm, is. Yeah. I'm sure, sure we can work on that. Uh, but yeah, this uh, promises to be phenomenal. No, it'll, it'll be good. Um, and it's it's great to see so many players here, Chase. <laughs> yes. No. Absolutely. So, what have we got for seventeen teams? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, seventeen teams. Uh, you know, from Ilfracombe to Charterlands, Exeter City, uh, Plymouth Argyle. Uh, you know, all the way to Newton Sixty Six, who have travelled from literally down the road, just down the road <laughs> at Osborne Park. Yeah. So no, it's really good. Uh, look, I've been looking forward to this actually. It's the first time, I mean, I've seen walking football, um, but the first time I've commentated on it, so it should be uh, should be interesting. Yeah, I mean, if anyone's listening on the comments... Um, listening listen, on the comments? Yeah, listening on the comments. Okay. It's, it's, a new, it's a tech Green. phrase. Keep up. Um, you know, they may say that actually, Richard, for the majority of your and I career, we've been involved in, mm. uh, in walking football. Well... Us personally, we've been walking. Yes, yes. Everyone else has been Absolutely. running. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, <laughs> indeed. So uh, it's great. We, we got so we got thirteen viewers already, which is brilliant. Thank you, uh, ladies and gents, and, and welcome. And I hope you. Oh, there's an opportunity for sixty-six. There strikes the outside of the post, and it's uh, cleared away. In fact, it's gone out for a, a goal kick. Slightly different rules in walking football. Rich, uh, do you want to? Try and I've kind of put you on the spot. So yeah. Thank you for this question. Um, a brief <coughs> overview of, yeah, of so the differences. So there's no overhead height allowed, no heading allowed, um, and it is walking. So for for a walk, it constitutes one part of one foot on the floor at all times, um, and you'll see all three kicks are indirect. Okay. Um, so that's that's something a little bit different. So we have no penalties. Then. We have no penalties. Um, and yeah, back pass rules are a little bit different, and uh, things like that. Kick ins, or it's roll ins, I think, or kick ins, not okay. throw ins. Um, so yeah, so it'll be it'll be interesting. We're just going to pick it up as we go along. Right. Uh, um, okay. <clears throat> but yeah, as you, I mean, Newton sixty six in front of us, Chase. Um, I've got to say, I love the pink kit. Uh, who but, who is that in the pink, Richard? Um, I, I believe it's St Martin's B. Okay. Um, I'm hoping it's St. Martin's B, otherwise the fixtures are wrong. Uh, um, so w would this be then 60 and 60? No, I'm kind of answering questions. I'm asking it. This is quite a local derby, isn't it? But not quite the localist derby. No, it's not It's not the localist derby. But it's got to be a Alphington here? Alphington, yeah, they're over in the uh, far corner in the okay. orange. Yeah, on the, on the screen now, at the top of the screen. So Alphington, Lexington, to St. Martin's are quite close. But 66 St. Martin's isn't. Exactly. It's not, far no, away, it's it? not a million miles away, is it? No, it's not a million miles away. So uh, yeah, 
potentially one of the uh, closer games that we're going to have. Excellent. So any, any other notable differences? I know it's the players taking, taking a corner. So yep. corners are still kicked. Corners are still kicked, yeah. Um, obviously, there's a D. I mean, you may not be able to see it on the screen as well. It's a D. It, if I write my Ds like that, I tell you, it's um, not a D. It's <laughs> um, coned, It's sort of flat coned out. Um, so that's the, the keeper's area only. Um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll just try and talk you through it, the uh, little ch- changes that we've got uh, as we go, because it's not okay. uh, it's not mainstream football. No, so notable difference uh, is the age of the players. Yeah, so you could say that. And, well, I don't no, want to no, be ages. They are, they are. Um, and this is a mixed competition. It is, yeah. So yeah. you've got, uh, you know, females and males, females and males playing, playing the at the same, same time. Team. Yeah. Uh, comment, uh, Ian Mulholland, sorry he can't be there, a family visit in Gosport up the bridges. Yeah. Uh, Ian, it would have been lovely to see you, but uh, thank you for watching the stream and, and, and lending your support. It would have, yeah. It's, uh, oh, he's a long, long time since I've seen Ian, actually. Yeah. Well, no, it wasn't that long ago. He was here. He was the, well, uh, yeah, still. One of the under 14 youth yeah, final at Horrorbridge? Yeah, I didn't. Briefly saw him that day because that was one of the games that that was where we had uh, multiple games, wasn't it? And yes, yeah, yeah. it's a bit busy. That so we, we have a bit of a changeover, and that's it. Um, just obviously, Jace, group A uh, is 10 minutes straight through, group B, C, and D are 14 minute games as well. So if people think that the games are running a little bit out of sync, yeah, they will be. Um, so um, okay. Well, I'll just see if I can. Uh, I'll, I'll pop the the groups up on the screen, so so that indeed people can can see uh, the fixtures uh, that we've got going on today. Are they up? Are they, Jason, uh, you, they you, are indeed. So, so there you so, go. There's so, group A. So you are producing, commentating, and doing all the uh, graphics as well. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, kind of trying to do a little bit of uh, of everything. Okay. Uh, today. So it is. It is one of these days, unfortunately, where uh, uh, my wonderful, and I do mean this, wonderful media team are, uh, are sadly otherwise engaged. Oh, most of them. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I would have been as well. You know. Uh, why? What is is today a, a special day no, for you? No, 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 nothing really, mate. I don't think there's anything special for today. Oh, okay. Um, Really? Although, although, really? Um, although, um, twenty-two years ago, I did um, get married. Wow! So okay. it is my uh, wedding anniversary. And, um, Congratulations! Thank you, mate. And uh, yeah, Joanne's actually obviously joined us tonight. I did say I was taking her out for a flash meal, mate. Okay. So uh, sausage and chips in the corner flag. It is later on. W- was she expecting something a little bit more oh, grand I, than the corner I, flag? I think so. Bar, well, perhaps? well, I mean, I got, you know, she's she's had a bit of a travel. She's. You know, we're going on the trip. She's been on the train to get here from Plymouth. You know, I'm taking her for a meal. She's got entertainment. What else does she want? <laughs> well, where do I start? Yeah. Um, <laughs> flowers, maybe. Ah, she's had them as well. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, they were delivered uh, earlier today. Right. So she's had enough. flowers. She's had a card. Okay. And and we have a uh, personal chef coming tomorrow. Ooh, very do, nice. And, and would we like to give him a, a little bit of a plug? Since yes, we so both know who this, this is. Uh, is. This is Mike Lazarus, who's a, a referee. He's uh, he's got a little bit of a uh, business where he does visits to people's homes, and uh, we'll do a bit of bit of cooking for you. Okay, um, so ju- just to clarify, people know that he's coming. He doesn't just randomly. No, he doesn't turn randomly up. turn up. They know you can book him. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't just randomly sort of break in and cook you a meal. Um, no, he, he and I've got to say we 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 had uh, a meal from Mike last year and it was very nice. So, so you've done the same thing so two years in a row. Yeah, you yeah, me? but it's uh, it's a lot easier than going out. Oh, okay. So uh, yeah, no, that's uh, that's for tomorrow night. Something to look forward to tomorrow night. <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, no, I best remember to change these. Uh, graphics over and there so people can see there we go so there's group c as you were talking about anniversary so group c mm. talk united blues st martin's b newton 66 and ilfracombe town ilfracombe town come all the way down yeah that's not uh, bad is that participate that's in this you know for an evening that's not, that's pretty good absolutely so you know welcome to them i think so far we've got our furthest um our furthest viewer okay yeah ian nichols gloucester 
We've yeah. got Gosport not yeah. further north than mm. Gloucester. Plus, no, I don't think it's further north, is it? Surely Gloucester's further north. No, one of Gosport. Well, yeah, I think hey, f further north, maybe. Maybe, maybe, a, maybe a little bit further yeah, away, yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe, but yeah. Okay. That's not bad. We've got two viewers. Two, two neither them. neither well, of them in Devon. That well, welcome something. both. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Group T, uh, Group D, Charterlands United. Who, who are they? Any, um, any idea? I haven't got a clue, Jase. Yeah, I I I do you know? I was going to ask you exactly the same right. question. Uh, Kingston, Argyle, Pilgrims, Exeter yeah. Strollers A. So there you go. That's uh, you've seen your groups. You've seen the fixture. So we've got a full program all the way through to the last group games kicking off at. 1950 gold for 66 there on uh, on pitch B. Yep. Let's see if we can bring you uh, a little bit of that. There's a goal scorer there, just uh, oh. adjusting his knee brace. So we got Argo, Argo and Alfington on the on the far pitch, Jess. Is it? Pitch uh, if, if you pitch think C? so, I don't pitch, know. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Pitch uh, B, I think that is in that. Uh, don't have the. Um, no, so no, that's pitch A, far side, isn't it? Yeah, far, so far side for me is okay. pitch A. Talking uh, United, yep. Far side from you is pitch B. Yep. Uh, which is Olfington and Argo. Yep. So let's see if we can bring you a little bit of that as well. There you go. That's it right at the top of your screen. That's the Olfington Argyle game. And then at the bottom, you've got. Who's this one on pitch D, Richard? It is. Uh, Charterland and King State. King, King State, King State in the in the bibs of the red shorts. Yeah. So there you go. That, that's the coverage we're going to uh, bring you. Goal map action from this left hand side. Charterlands with uh, a corner, which is yeah, not quite the corner you want for a walking football team. No, no, no one was getting on the end of that one. So who who was watching from Gloucester? Ian Nichols. Hey, Ian Nichols, wonderful. Yeah. So Ian. Uh, has been here twice mm -hmm. uh, for County Cup finals already this season. Yes, uh, hasn't he? So yeah. with the do we have Plymouth Phoenix, Phoenix in yeah. the Sunday Sunday Cup mm -hmm. and Plymouth was it, was it with Hunter Hunters, District Girls? Hunters District, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know a cup final, a veteran, a cup final veteran, yes. and Ian Holland, a service veteran. Yeah, indeed. There you go. So it's all good. So please, uh, if you're watching, like and share. Uh, please leave any comments, any questions you got about Walk Football, that'd be great. As Argyle Greens have just scored, scored, yeah. scored a goal up on pitch C. What a chance for. Oh, 66. See, we've got a referee arrived, Liam Chick. Yes. Has arrived. He had a, had a few problems on, the, on his train from uh, Exeter. Mm, yes. Um. And so, yeah, thank, thank, I'd, I'd like to thank Eddie Green for stepping in and making sure that we kicked off on time um, as Liam was uh, unable to get here. Liam was delayed. Due, due, uh, due to his train problems. Um, so what other refs we got here? So we have uh, Robin Connolly. Uh, Robin's from... From Axminster. Axminster, yeah. <coughs> mm -hmm. uh, we've got... Uh, then we've got two of our own. We've oh. got um, Ashley Harris. So referees. Yeah. And uh, Dan Eustace. The wonderful Dan Eustace. Yeah. So, um, and we have Sam Gill coming uh, a little bit later as well to help out. So. So, uh, okay. Yeah. It's, uh, I, th I, I don't know how much the heat's going to get to these these players. Having a look at um, Talkie Yellows when they're, they've are they just come off. They First thing they've done is gone into the little bit of the shade. Um, and they look a little bit uh, sweaty and, uh, yeah. Well, uh, well, I'll share with you, Richard. I came out and uh, moved some goals about earlier to get the, the pitches ready uh, for this. And I tell you what, it was hard work just moving a few goals about the, the heat coming from the sun, which, you know, we always love having the sun, which is great. But mm -hmm. then the heat also coming up from the, uh, the rubber crumb underneath. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it's going to... I'd be pretty pleased that this is walking football today. Yeah. Um, so, so that moves on nicely to the next comment we got from Sam Gale, who's he's on his way. Uh, lads, on a scale of one to ten, how hot is it? Thirteen. Oh, yeah, it's it's a bit um, it's a bit warm, Sam. So, uh, yeah, you certainly won't need a pair of tracksuit bottoms on. No, <laughs> leave the hat and gloves in the car. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'd bring some Factor Twelve. <laughs> I think you're going to need it. Um, yeah. 
It's a, it's a bit. Uh, even uh, even sat in the back of the stand, it's uh, still quite comfortable, Jason. It is indeed. Plenty of uh, uh, fluids needed, Sam. Make sure you bring yourself a drink. So is this? Uh, you know, you promised Joanne for your anniversary. You take her somewhere hot and sunny. Yeah, yeah, hot and sunny. You know, hot and sunny entertainment. Yeah. Um, you know, food. You know, uh, what else can she ask for? I've, I've not, I've, I've, all I'm going to say is that I'm facing away from her at the moment. She's got her earphones in, so I'm oh, really hoping oh, she's that she's not listening to the... Uh, she's glaring. No, she's not. She's listening to music, so she's not she, listening she's to us. She's still glaring at you. Yeah, know. I know. I know. I know. What, what's that What's that stabbing motion? She, yeah, she, uh, yeah. Oh, get that pen out of her hand. <laughs> <laughs> if I go quiet, Jace, you know what's happened, all right? Yes. You will see. So there's the... Uh, Talk United lads there after their uh, after their break, taking on as much uh, fluid as they possibly can. You can see 66 in the top there, looking for a decision. He's not going to get it because it's uh, it's all over. Full time, full time for Mr. Harris there. Yeah, it's all over. So we'll see. As soon as we can get some results, we will uh, update them. Update the league tables and bring you everything we possibly can. Yeah, the um, the lads from from Elfricum now are, are making their way down. They, I don't know if they're um, just doing it deliberately, going slowly. <laughs> <laughs> but they've all got. I mean, there's 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 one guy, number number fourteen, he's got about twelve bottles of water in his hand. Really? <laughs> so uh, yeah, they're only out there for fourteen minutes. So yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be warm. It is certainly warm. So. <laughs> We will. Uh, well, the thing is, Rich, if it was cold and raining, they'd moan, wouldn't yeah, they? So, yeah. you know, we, we've sorted out the weather. Yeah, you probably know. sorted out a little bit too well <laughs> for them. <laughs> Absolutely. How was it in the air-conditioned office today? Oh, it was Oh, it was manic. Oh, OK. Oh, yeah. Couldn't, couldn't get to that air-conditioning controller uh, quick enough this morning. <laughs> it's right next to your desk. It's not right next to my desk. It's right next to the door as I walk in. So you walk past it then? Oh, no, it, it was literally in lights... Air conditioning. Oh, okay. um, yeah. Oh, guess who's, Jace, guess who else is watching us now? Uh, All the way from sunny Doncaster. Which is definitely further north than Gloucester. It is, yeah. That would be a, a young Nathan Bachelor. It would be indeed. Good evening, Nathan. Uh, Nathan, we're, we're here again. Oh, Nathan with his feet <laughs> up now. Now the yeah. awards are done. Yeah. And now the National Award winner. You were on the panel for that. How was that, by oh, the way? Oh, I don't think we've talked about that. That was... Um, that was a great experience, Jace. I've got to say, um, seeing all of those nominations come in, um, and then having to deal with, you know, who's going to win the, the national awards was it was daunting, really, but uh, it was exciting at the same time. Uh, yeah. So, Nath, thanks for the uh, for the invite onto that panel. It was much appreciated, and um, yeah, when you've got to choose between, you know, you've got to pick one person out of fifty. Uh, people in different categories it's uh, yeah it's quite a task but one that's been done now and uh, congratulations to the winners when they're uh, when they're informed excellent all right so do you want some scores on the doors yeah well, well you could do the scores on the doors if you want to uh, right, okay. well as you haven't got the scores as i haven't got the scores yeah so uh talking united yellows two ilfrican town one that's in group a in Group B, Argyle Greens. Hey, well, 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 hang on, Jase. Yes. Talk United Yellows against who? Ilford from Town A. In Group A? Yes. I had them against uh, Team Drifters. Well, unless they've changed the fixtures. Ah, OK. <laughs> Talk United 1-2 now, anyway. 2-1. <sighs> uh, Argyle Greens against Alphington. Have you got that? Uh, yeah, I got that one. Oh, 2-1. Two 2-1 one. Two one to Argyle Greens. Up the Greens. Yeah. 66 know. against St. Martins B. Uh, yeah. yeah, got that one. One one. Yeah, got that. And Charterlands King Stainton nil nil. Got that. Okay, so you had Talk United Yellows against Team Drifters. Yes, Who I did. Who did you have in the second game then? Uh, Brixham against Exodus Strollers. Oh dear, my um, my schedule is completely different to yours. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Talk okay. United Yellows against Exodus Strollers. Right, yeah. Let's, uh, let's see, let's this is live amendments. This is great. And but Team Drifters, you said. Yeah, but saying that, yeah, that's the one that Dan's refereeing in that first okay. side. And what's the game now on Group A? 
Sorry about this, folks. As we uh, do should be Brixham Town against Exeter Strollers. Brixham Town against Exeter Strollers. Okay, game three, 1836. Uh, Ilfracombe against Torquay Yellows. Ilfracombe, okay, uh, 1849. Uh, team Drifters against Exeter Strollers B. Uh, Nineteen oh two. Uh, oh, hang on. Uh, 1849, Team Drifters, did you say? Yeah, against Exeter Strollers. All right, 1902. Ilford Coombe against Brixham. Ilford Coombe against Brixham. 1915. Torquay against Exeter Strollers. Oh, I've got half of that one, right? Uh, 1928. Team Drifters versus Ilfracuma A. This is some weird timings, isn't it? Yeah. I've never had an event where games kicking off so precisely. 1941. Brixham against Torquay Yellow. So that's the year you were born as well, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. You'd always have that edge on me, Rich. Only just. Uh, 1954. Exeter Strollers against Ilfracuma A. Exeter Strollers against Ilfracuma A. Uh, and then the final game at uh, 2007. Team Drifters versus Brixham Town. Team Drifters against Brixham Town. And that is all platforms being called at uh, between uh, Plymouth <laughs> and Ilfracoom. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So there we go. Oh, Alan Lewis is on, which means that uh, there can only be one thing. The yep, world, the is world being will be tagged. Good evening, Alan. How is life, Alan, in Tavistock? Uh, give us a flavour, and we must do this um, uh, this interview with you at some stage when you're free, because you always seem to be busy. So uh, just drop me a line when you've got 15 minutes for a chat, and we'll do it over the phone, Alan. That would be great. Nailing his colours to the wall. Come on, horror bridge yep. rangers. I can see that one coming. Ooh. I've got some. Uh, I've got some work to do at Horrorbridge over the summer. Oh, yeah, really? yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to um, bring a, a a sort of a mini series on um, facilities that have been developed within Devon. Oh, okay. And so we're doing some work at Manorton, um in Biddeford. We're going up there as well. Holsworthy with their new pavilion. And uh, Sandy Mary and Biddeford we're going. And we're going to do something at Horrorbridge as well. So okay. I look forward to uh, getting down there and uh, recording some footage and seeing all the great work that's going on. Yeah, now that's uh, at Horrorbridge. Oh, you, you'll get a night for the summer then. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, got to be done, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and obviously, Jace, just, just to point out that actually these, these walking footballers get the same treatment at County Cup finals. As uh, everyone else has. You know, we've got Ali from uh, Miracle PR. He sat down, you know, making the most of the sun. He sat down. <laughs> what, what are you trying to say about Ali? <laughs> um, sat down Come taking on. some, what but he'd be taking some great photos, which will be on our uh, social media at some stage. Um, so, yeah, they're, they're having the full the full works. They've got the Facebook Live. They've got it on YouTube. So anyone that's at the event and wants to watch it later on, they, that's where they can get it. Or indeed later on if they just want to tune in and listen to this magnificent punditry. Or us. Whatever. whatever. Oh, that sounded very cold, Jason. Oh, it was lovely. That, that, uh, that drink so did Did sound. you not bring yourself a drink? No, no, I didn't. No. Uh, is Joanne not looking after you? No, no, no. She's looked after me for 22 years. Oh. See? See? I got that one in. So when Joanne watches this later on, you know, she, I'll just cut out the other bits. <laughs> and you'll send them to her yeah I know <laughs> I didn't say anything didn't she, say she stopped that uh, that stabbing motion though <laughs> so it looks like game's finished over on uh, on pitch A so that is it's, uh, no yeah she uh, must have kicked off early then yeah so we're thinking that's team drifters and next Oh, yeah. No, it's all wrong. Bricks, Brixham against uh, Exeter Strollers, okay. I think that was. It's definitely Brixham. I'll, yeah. give, I'll give you that. Uh, we've got a goal. We've got a goal on uh, on pitch C, which I'm assuming would be uh, Talking United Blues has just scored against Delphi. You mean pitch B? Pitch C. That's B. No. It's B in front of you. No. B's in front of you, far side. No, it's not. It is. It's A. 
and then B in front of you, because that's what Talk United Yellows are on. <laughs> Seriously, we don't really don't know what we're doing. Either. We don't do it. <laughs> Uh, comments. Let's have some sensible comments. Yeah. And we've got some. Yeah. Good Rich evening. Hills. Yeah. Good evening, Rich. Hey, Christoph, my man. How are you? It's been a long time since I've uh, seen spoke to you, Chris. Hope you're well. Uh, North Devon. I haven't seen any uh, Facebook posts about preparation for the fitness test. I assume you're out there uh, uh, running around, which should be great. Chris, um, good luck. When you go to uh, Sweden as well, is it next week or a week after? Oh, he's not going with um, Mark Walker. Yes, he? yeah, and uh, Matt Farley. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're off to uh, they're off to Sweden for a uh, for a tournament. So, so yeah, that'll be good. North Devon's th three of the four of North Devon's finest referees. Yeah, yeah, they're all so uh, they're all off to a tournament. So. Obviously, the fourth one being uh, none other than Mr. Brett Huxtable. Indeed. I uh, haven't seen Brett again for a while, so I hope he is well. This is great so far. There's some fun. There's some questionable walking. I've got to yeah, say. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. not sure this is all walking. You know, it's, I'm it's, really not sure. It's as almost you want to put lead boots on them. Yeah, there's definitely some running going there on your screen Look on the top left as the ball gets played across. Oh, and he's a free. It's oh, a goal. goal! Goal for Torquay United. Blues. Uh, yeah. Good job I didn't say Buckland. No, no, no. <laughs> I've done that before. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, yes. As, as well, uh, and, and the young lady that played in the game was, uh, you know, I mean, she's, she still hasn't forgiven you. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, she hasn't. But um, oh, Jace, there's a, there's a, just to the left. There's beer coming out of the uh, out of the corner flag. I bet, oh, well. I'll bet it's freezing. Maybe we oh. can just, just I'll go off just scored in front of you. Well, I've only got four weeks, Jace. Oh, why? What happens in four weeks? Really? Four you, you've weeks. not mentioned it. No, no. Well, a bit like when when you went to Egypt. 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 Yeah. Um. Yeah, we're we're off. On our on our holiday that we booked three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> is this, this is your COVID break. This is yeah. This is our uh, this is our COVID break. Okay, and where are you off to? Uh, off to Turkey again. Oh, wonderful! You you like a bit of Turkey? Oh yes, definitely. Do you go to the same place, Rich, or different um, resorts? We go. We we are going back to the same place, but not to the same hotel this time. We're going all inclusive. Oh. So, I've, so I've really I've really thrown oh. the. Uh, well, to be fair, I've had three years to save up for it, so. Uh, yeah, we're uh, no no expense spared on this one. Chucking the boat well and uh, truly. Out. Yeah. Um, so yeah, four weeks, and at the moment Brian Johnson is over there, not in the same hotel or resort, but says it's baking hot. Okay. And uh, Mark Walker's off next week. Right. Okay. I think. So is this a referee thing to be a referee in Devon? If you're going on holiday, you have to yeah. go to teach it uh, yeah. to Turkey. Turkey. Yeah. Yeah. So when are you going? I'm not. Oh, all right. Okay. I go to Egypt. To Egypt. We go back to Egypt this year. Hmm. I, d I just follow Matt Hodgson. Yeah, I, I did notice that. Yeah, wherever Matt Hodgson goes, I go. Yeah, I did notice that. Um, which is quite weird. Uh, but no, it's always good because he, uh, he gives me the little hints and tips and uh, and, uh, and what to do and what to look out for. So I, I do quite well out of that, I've got to be honest. No, I mean, it is good though, isn't it? The team that we've got at the moment, they, we do seem to um, have some nice holidays abroad. and yes. You know, obviously yes, I went. To, I went to um, well, not abroad, but went to Devon Cliffs not very long ago. And that was that was oh, really that nice. Abroad? I no, suppose I said, you're from Plymouth, aren't you? I said I yeah, said not abroad, but yeah, but any trip that involves the A38 to yeah. you is abroad. No, I mean, <laughs> I, I said it wasn't abroad, but we went to um, we went to Devon Cliffs, and even that was really nice. You know, so, oh, dear, so I, like I, I treated Joanne to a birthday present. Yeah. You know, that was a birthday present. You you oh. treated Joanne. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Did, yeah. Didn't Joanne get it cheap for you? Then? Well, she may have. But so yeah. did, did she not, in effect, no. then treat you? No, 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 no. She's not listening. So no, I treated her. And were you were you as well looked after on this caravan holiday as you were your your previous one? What the one in Lou? No, yes. no, no. I had to get up and and do breakfast, and I was doing the dishes and uh, everything else. You you had to make your own breakfast. Yes, I know, I know. Wow. I know my own breakfast. I had to do it all myself. 
Well, I didn't. The wife did. But well, what can I say? Obviously, you know, you were looked after far too well then. In yes, in Lou. Yeah, that was a, another good weekend. Long weekend, but good weekend. Um, yeah, it was some, again some really good, really, really good football. Uh, you know, we could have done with a little better weather, couldn't yeah. we? Sunday wasn't great, was it? No, no, but you know. Um, good mix of local teams and uh, teams from, uh, you know, South Wales and West Midlands. Was it Sutton AFC? Sutton, yeah. Sutton, oh, they were, they were, that was a club and a half, that was. Just seen another goal for uh, Torquay there. Yeah, the um, the Welsh team were uh, were really good as well. There was a lot of them, weren't there? Yeah, it, it, it was like a, a big event for them, didn't they? And yeah. everyone came out. No, it, was a, it was a really, really good weekend with, with R&T. But next year... Rich, we're, we're back here, back here. Are we for R and T? Um, and uh, yeah, the, the, hopefully the event at Torquay will run uh, as planned after having a, had a little break. Okay. So yeah, R and T tours. If you want to get involved, local, they take local teams too. So if you local team, so, you so we're uh, here. Yes. So so where's our where's our nearest caravan then? So here. Yeah. Uh, well, we'll put one behind the uh, behind the stand. There. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's yeah. good. Oh, we could always camp out under the stand. Oh, no, no, <laughs> no, no. And I, I mean, you know, I, I, I know that in that stand we've, we've had a ram. Yes. We've had an alligator. Yes. And, and, and there are other animals down there. I'm pretty sure there's a dinosaur down there somewhere. There is, there is a dinosaur down there. Well, there normally is if Frizz goes down there. Really? Good old Frizz. <laughs> Good um, old Uncle Frizz, who's not here tonight. He's no. Missing, no, missing, uh, missing his action. The first County Cup final that he, he would have missed. There you go. This uh, this uh, this Torquay team in front of me seem to be, uh, although I'm sure there's a there's, there's running going there's on. There's just there. a tad of tad bit yeah. of running, but they've scored again. Yeah, lots yeah. of running going on. But it's Ash, isn't it? So you know. Uh, well, it's, it's the thing is, Jace, it's really difficult because as a referee, you're, you're watching sort of the ball and you know the tackles going in, and then you can't watch for players running around behind you. Yeah, the ball. Yeah, I know. But. <laughs> I'm if just you can't to watch the player on the ball I'm running, just, I'm just well, you know. I'm just trying to, um, you know, sort of back Ash up. But You're trying a trigger. to back Ash up. Trigger. Oh, Trigger Harris. Trigger, yeah. Yeah, go on. T- tell, our, tell our viewers who, who may not uh, may not know, why why is he in fact called uh, Trigger Harris? Well, well, Ash is a, is a level four referee. Excellent. Well done. So, know, so he that, does that's an achievement. And, um, yeah, he, he has... Um, Quite a high number of red and yellow cards this year. Does he? Yeah. So if you call, if we call him Trigger Harris and mm-hmm. give him a nickname, surely he must be the number one referee for issuing cards in Devon. No, 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 no. Oh, I what? think no? no. I think he was. Um, was he about sixth? Mm, yes, six or seven. Six or seventh, aren't they? So, yeah, he's. It, you know, there's, there are there are referees <laughs> that do more. There are ref, but there are there are referees that referee quite a bit more in football. So uh, yeah, but unfortunately, the um, number of cases generally was up. So not a uh, well, yes, but th- there was a reason when we did our kind of data analysis yeah. that you know we're coming from a a COVID hit season to a to a normal uh, season, a, a full season, won't yeah. we? So it's expected to to be a year on year increase. Yeah. Um, you know, up in, up in some areas, uh, down in a couple, but yeah, yeah it's overall it's a, it's a worrying trend. But the big comparison will be um, last year to the new season we're about to embark on. Yes, don't indeed. forget, everyone. Oh, what oh, a it's, goal! It's in. Oh, yeah, Torquay has scored again. What a goal there! Just a snip over the line there. Uh, don't forget, everyone. Uh, club affiliation is now open for season 22-23. Uh, get your club secretary, treasurer, chairman, or indeed welfare officer. Go on the whole game system. Bottom left-hand side is club affiliation. There'll be a bar across it that says available. Click on that. Follow the um, affiliation process. We had a live demonstration from Dan Eustace. Took about three or four minutes with all the information input. So not an, a difficult task at all, but support is there if you need it. And, and obviously that that leads into sort of county cups and all that for next season, doesn't yes. it? So. Yeah, yeah. So adults need to confirm your county cup entry by the end of July. Remember, your first teams must enter. You don't have a choice; they have to be in. The only exception to that is if you're a new club 
for 22-23 and you think actually this county cup might be a bit too soon for us you can opt out and that's fine it's not a problem anyone else must enter uh, youth clubs have got until uh, the end of August to confirm and please 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 if anyone's watching this is involved with the youth club youth clubs and teams in county cups is optional so please don't enter if you've got you know, issues uh, with player availability, you've got teams folded because, you know, once that uh, end of August deadline ticks past, if you do withdraw, then unfortunately there's to be a fine with it. And uh, we, we get a lot of last year because we get teams that play, particularly in the, like the Devon Junior Minor League and the Exodus Youth League, which they play on a Saturday morning. Yeah. And County um, Cups are on a County Sunday. Cups are on a Sunday, yeah. yeah. So... Particularly, I, I remember one team, Manstow, I, I believe it was a team at Manstow, that um, they've got quite a lot of players who play for Ivory Bridge Rugby. Oh, OK. Club. Oh, and they play on a Sunday. Yeah, Sunday yeah. yeah, so when it comes to County Cup, unable to feel a side, which mm -hmm. was, uh, you know, it's sad because I think they'd have given it a good go. But, yeah, so check, check things like that. All right. And then, yeah, only enter if you want to. So, yeah, it should be. Oh, after this year's County Cup finals. Um, should be interesting ones next year. But should we give a little plug to something that's going out on Facebook tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, we can do. We, um, the media team, the, the uh, those yourself, uh, me and Mr. Barrett, uh, we did our teams of the cup finals. Um, and we did a, a podcast video type thing, which is all new for <laughs> us. And um, yeah, that's going out on Facebook and uh, well, it's going out on our social medias tomorrow, isn't it, Jase? So yes, so it's um, all, all loaded there. Dan's going to pop it up uh, tomorrow. And, so uh, yeah, we, we picked our, our 11 players uh, from all of the players that played in the cup finals. Uh, we picked our best 11 each. Yep. Um, and you'd be surprised. I mean, there's hundreds of players, wouldn't there? Yeah, yeah. And, and we actually picked a few that were, you know, we were unanimous in it. Is it five? I think there was five, yeah. Five we agreed on? Yeah, so... Uh, yeah, congratulations to the team. Uh, you don't win any prizes for it, but uh, you know it's just nice that. Yeah, but there's there's <coughs> you know the big office prize. Well, yeah, like who's the best? Yeah, so but so 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 when when it's when it's all announced and up, um, vote for Team Mason. Well, why would you do that? Um, or or Team Hayward. Why, why would you? Or vote? Team Barrett. So clearly, uh, when you're voting, it's Team Hayward. That's Team Hayward is the team to vote for. All right. Uh, there are other ones there, but, you know, to appreciate steak, you've got to have a ham sometimes. So they're there just to show you how good my team is. So please vote Team Haywood. H-A-Y-W-W-D. We'll accept other spellings. If you want Hayward, that's fine. Hay with an E, that's okay. But Team Haywood is the one to vote for. All right. That's good. Uh, in, uh, hopefully we've we've got a little bit of the action you're looking for. It's, it's quite difficult here to pick up individual games with the cameras go away, so we'll try and cover as much as we can for you. Uh, are you going to behave down there now? Yeah, you sure? All right, okay, let, let's bring him back. All right, you're going to yeah. behave? Facebook jail was lovely. Yeah, that's okay. I'm sat there all on my own. So own. Once again, the voting goes. What did they do? Uh, uh, it's, uh, it's Team Hayward. Excellent. That's enough said from him. Um, yeah, well, I, I think I've got to let you out of Facebook, Jay, now because I've got to do some results. I'll we'll oh, be back no. in a minute. Um, so, uh, just trying to see what, what game I've got in front of me. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a really nice night here at the moment. Um, Coach Road is brimming with sun. I don't know if it, I'm assuming it's still the red hot out there because everyone's still under the uh, under the stand here in front of us. Oh, there's a player falling down. So, uh, I believe that we have. Uh, yeah, it's. Oh, oh, Bricks up against Action Strollers on pitch A. And we have. Pitch C, Torquay United against 66. 
pitch D. We should have uh, Argo Pilgrims against Extra Strollers A. And there's one that I haven't done. It's uh, it's got to be St Martin's against. Yeah, yeah. I think you're a game behind, Rich. Am I? Yeah. Oh, do you okay. want some results? And yeah. that might help you. Go on in. So Group A. That'll be the one that says ah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But uh, Brixham Town nil, Extra Strollers five. Wow. That's some goals in that one. Yeah. And uh, Ilfracombe Town a nil, Talk United Yellows two. So that's Talk United Yellows with two wins from two so far. Mm -hmm. uh, it, moving on to Group B. Yep. St. Martin's A3, mm -hmm. Horrorbury's 1. Right. So St. Martin's A and Argyle Green's top that group at the minute with a win each. And uh, they and should be playing each other. Yeah, so that's the big one. Someone's going to lose for the first time there, or we're going to get a draw. They're going to drop points, certainly. Mm -hmm. uh, group C, we've got Talk United Blue 5. Yep. Ilfracombe nil. So Talk United top that group with one win. Uh, yep. Gold is plus 5. That's going to become important later. Newton 66 and Torquay on that one there, then. Yep. And then Group D, Argyle Pilgrims 1, Extra Strollers 1. Okay. So, interesting then. Dead, all dead heat on that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, just you've got Argyle and Extra Strollers at top first and second of the minute on the goal scored. Okay. So, uh, it's going to be interesting. So, let's see where that takes us. But, uh, yeah, thank you for filling in a, a, That's a okay. little bit there. We, we've, we've had a little bit of a, of a change around of referees as well. Yeah, see, Eddie Green's back. Eddie's now in, on uh, on this pitch in front yeah. of me. Dan, Dan stayed where he is. Dan's on pitch A. Yeah, uh, yeah. or B, or yeah. C, or Robbie whatever. Robbie Connolly's over on this one in front yeah. of me. And uh, Liam, Liam Chick is uh, in front of the shed. It's shed end. Shed end. The shed end. Oh, being an Exeter fan, that would be good for him, wouldn't it? The shed end. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair. It is. So, what's going on on uh, on Facebook? What's the tech team tonight, boys? Uh, ben, well, it's myself and Richard Mason uh, being ably supported and supervised by Joanne Mason down the far side there. Uh, ben, if you're on and you're listening, did uh, Reese get anything in the post? Hopefully it arrived. Well, hopefully it did. So, if you could let me know how that would be grand. Yeah. Uh, Kimberly Pitts supporting extra strollers. Let's uh, let's uh, change the camera a bit. Let's give uh, a couple of the others a bit, so you can see a bit more of that top pitch over there. Lots. Uh, I think both both Argyle uh, teams on at the same time. Yeah. Let's uh, see. Uh, who who is it in the, that that uh, luminous, very bright green? Whoever's playing. I think is that Charterlands. It could well be. Yeah. That's. Uh, that's some kit, isn't it? Yes. But you're not going to see. You're not going to miss them in the on a dark evening. Are you? Or is or, or is it St Martin's A? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, the parcel arrived, Richard. Oh, good, good, <laughs> good. <laughs> no, 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 no. So Reese, Reese Goldsworthy, brother of Sir Benjamin of Posh, uh, is a 12-year-old uh, lad <laughs> who has given up. Plenty of time to the media team here at Devon FA for the County Cup finals, and he, he he's amazing. And his camera work is fantastic. He's done production as well, you know. So he's been responsible for bringing live broadcasts to, to our audience, which has been watched by thousands of people, all controlled by him. Uh, no, he's 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 absolutely brilliant. He's a legend. And, and some some people, some people say he's the best producer we've had. Uh, yes, uh, the, yes, you do, don't you? Uh, <laughs> sure, it's, it's not. Uh, It's not uh, your view is not sh shared by others. No, no, no. no. <laughs> well, there we go. There uh, we ben go. said twelve. <laughs> <laughs> He's that tall yeah. at fifteen. Right. Don't make right. him younger. Yeah, yeah fill in one <laughs> second. Hang on. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. It's um now it. I said we've got a couple of uh, really interesting games here in front of us at the moment. Um, sixty-six and. Uh, Torquay in front of us, Ilfracombe the far side. Um, and then, as Jason said, both our goal teams on at the same time. Um, one on one pitch, one on the other. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's really good. It's really busy at the moment. <coughs> yeah, sorry, I'm just just challenging some uh, uh, some poor behaviour towards our referees there. It's not, not something that we tolerate here at Coach. No, it's not. No, it's definitely not. 
no, we're not having it. So, you know, referees get things right, they get things wrong. We've seen plenty of running, uh, you know, that's not been picked up by the referees. But, you know, it's all right. It doesn't get to, they don't pick up everything. I'm, I'm grateful if I pick up anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When I'm, what do you mean, yes? Yeah. Well, I, what do you mean, yes? I agree. <laughs> so you should be. What do you, can I remind you mm -hmm. of the statement that you said to me in the last observation that you did for me down at Tall Point? Yes. Yeah, Jace, you were amazing. Yes. In Four. You said. No, 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 no. The, the right. Just so, finish that. Jace, so, you were amazing. So, so shall I finish the statement? Go on, then. For the first 70 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and then you stopped. <laughs> I was gone. <laughs> I put in so much effort to that 70 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, you were fantastic, Jace, for 70 minutes. Um, uh, but I have seen you referee since, Jace. So, you know, I did see you at Ivy Bridge. I'll tell you what, I mean, I've enjoyed my, uh, my referee in this season. It's, you know, everyone, uh, there's plenty of stories going about, uh, you know, about player behaviour and this, that and the other. And, yeah, you know, you and I, we've both seen some horrific cases, haven't we? Yeah, uh, well, yeah uh, definitely. Stuff that's gone on this year. But overall, I think my experience this year has been uh, entirely pleasurable. I've really enjoyed refereeing. I've seen uh, a lot of players that I've known for a long time. Yeah, yeah. Um, are, you, you, are you even listening? I am. I've got to keep trying to happy as well. Oh, well, well I'll shut up then. You, yeah. Go on. No, no, no. It's go right. on. No, it's no, 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 no. It's your anniversary. Talk, talk to her. No, no, that's right. She's, talk she's talk I'm going to get her on the mic in a minute. She just said the number one to you. I don't know what uh, that was all she? about. Well, yeah, one pint of Coke. Yeah. yeah. Two. No, no you're going to get me two. <laughs> get me two halves. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, my experience this year has been great. So, uh, you know, it's not all doom and gloom out there for refereeing. Uh, yeah, lots of players I've known for a long time. The banter has been, uh, has, has been great. It really, really has. So. And lots of great youth players. Isn't it yeah. amazing how many fantastic youth players we've got playing yeah. in, in leagues in Devon at the minute? Oh, yeah. I'm it sure it would be the same everywhere else, but yeah, yeah some phenomenal players out there. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Um, I don't know if you saw it, Jace, the uh, picture right in front of you, the uh, Argyle player, uh, the tall, taller one at the front, just sat the keeper down and tucked it away in the bottom corner. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he did a step over. Uh, the keeper thought he'd shot. Sat down and the the player just rolled it in the other in the other <laughs> corner. So, yeah, good stuff. So there is some there is some fantastic skill of these players. Yeah, there um, is. There is. Just just the, the legs have gone, you know, and that's why they can't play. Oh, the head's still there. They they've yeah. still got oh, it. Indeed, they? yeah, indeed. I'll be back in a second. He's gone again. He's abandoned me yet again. We've got a free kick against Argyll on one pitch. Oh, that's gone over. So it's a free kick for uh, overhead height. <laughs> what? 12. Yeah, he's 15. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> uh, someone's in the doghouse, though, Jay, so I'm assuming that's you. Why, why, am, I, um, why am I in the doghouse? Oh, I don't know. You better ask Ben. Benjamin Apoch. Sir Benjamin Apoch. Well, you better ask his security maybe, officer. Maybe you're in the doghouse because uh. you keep forgetting his title. Yeah. Uh, Sir Benjamin Apoch, if you are coming to Coach Road it's tonight... Right. You don't go to the palace and go, Oi, Liz, do you? It's, it's the Queen. Oh. So, therefore, Sir Mom. Benjamin Apoch, yes. Mom. Uh, Greg Smith, how come players never get penalised for running to tackle and set players, but players with a ball always get penalised for running with the ball? Totally unfair to players with the ball. Uh, Greg, yeah, it's, it's hard to disagree with you on there, and it's something that we've we've talked about earlier, but uh, it's difficult as a referee because your main focus, I think, and please, Rich, I, I know you'll jump in on this, but your main focus is on the ball, isn't it? And sometimes you don't see what's coming in on the peripheral. Yeah, oh, definitely. And um, the last walking football finals we had here, uh, myself and Ashley refereed the final. Futsal style, yeah. So, so one on each touchline, and, and that because you've got a great view then right across the pitch, you can identify the um, the running, yeah. And it's you know it's so much easier. Um, yeah, it's really really difficult to uh, to identify all the running all the time. Yeah. So, Greg, it's it's the hardest thing to to capture. It really really is. You know, um, you know, I'll go out and I referee a game of, of twenty two players, not a problem at all. Quite happy to do that. But trying to pick up running. In a five-a-side game, is it's it's tough. It really, really is. 
Oh, we're down to one game going on at the moment. Uh, two. Two. Oh, yeah, that one's still going on. Yeah, Sorry, so I thought it was one in that corner, one in this yeah. corner. Isn't it great so far? It's a lovely atmosphere here, Coach. It is, isn't it? Yeah. It really, really is. It is. So, just after the group stages, Jace, um, yep. uh, what, what, is the, uh, what is the format? So, top two from each group. We'll go through to the quarterfinals. Okay. And then semifinals and final. But we've got some uh, presentations to make after the group stages because we're going to make the league presentations. Oh, okay. So the league winners, um, I think there's three presentations to make, which I'm sure will be explained at the time. But yeah, and then into the quarter, semi and final. And so we're going to be here until about 20 to 10. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And we'll... Um, Are you paying the overtime rate? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, oh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll pay you 200% of what I'm paying you now. Oh, okay. All right. So yeah. I've got no problem doing that. Oh, okay. Um, so when it comes to that final stage, we're gonna we're gonna move the cameras about a bit, so we'll give you a proper coverage of of the finals. All right. So it, it is somewhat difficult at the minute with four games going yeah, on. Yeah. Um, uh, are, the, are the finals happening in front of me? Uh, yes, they are indeed. Okay. Well, that's good. They are indeed. So. That's good. So I don't have to move anywhere. No. <laughs> Maybe that's why they've done it. <laughs> okay. Maybe that's why they've done it. So. Uh, Greg Smith, you all do great. Yeah, uh, Greg. Yeah, we, we try our best. That's all I'll say. We try our best. We get things right, we get things wrong. All right, so not every referee is perfect. I'm certainly not perfect by a long shot, and I'm sure every other referee would tell you the same. But, you know, like I said, some great players out there. It's fantastic at the minute, football. There's, there's some real, real good skill on the show tonight, Jason. Yes. Got to say. Yeah. And... Uh, it's going to be a shot. Oh, oh good save. save. Oh. I tell you, I'm not, not sure what they're complaining about there. It looked a per perfectly good goal to me. I, th I think they were trying to claim that it was uh, inside the D. Uh, oh, no, clearly outside. Yeah. Clearly outside. Great ball. I say D, the uh, the goal area. Yes. I'm not going to... I'm yeah, this one's kind of questionable. This 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 end, isn't it? On, yeah. on this near pitch. Yeah, I, it's I, more I, of a, a, I, a pyramid. I, I think the um, the middle one, the middle flat spot, has moved. <laughs> it seems to have moved a little bit closer to the uh, to the uh, yeah. office block. <clears throat> so is this Talkie United Blues in front of you now? Yes. So who scored five in their opening game? They did, yeah. Uh, and are they being pegged back one nil now? So, yeah, yeah. It's you know, um, uh, could be. A bit of a defeat for them yeah. here. Let's see what's going on on the other pitches. Uh, Exeter City uh, and King Staten on this near pitch to me. And Argyle against Charterlands, we think, uh, towards the top of your screen there. So in front of you, have you got Team Drifters and Exeter Strollers, yeah? It's Team Drifters, is it? Yeah, oh, I, think okay. so. I think it's Team Drifters. Lots of people here supporting, which is fantastic. It is great, isn't it? Yeah, as I say, all, like all of our finals are Jace, we've had decent crowds for everything. Yeah, Craig, anyone else watching, wait for replays of goal? Greg, no, d d do one. I'm going to block you if you carry yeah. on with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. To be, <laughs> to be fair, you, you're lucky to see a goal. <laughs> do you, do you want to go? <laughs> uh, uh, in, in sometime in the future, Greg, when I... Uh, I've got the uh, ability to do it. I'll bring some replays, uh, but it's it's somewhat of a challenge for me. Yeah, uh, to do that. So, if there's anybody out there that actually is experienced in uh, in, in live sport production and uh, that uh, can come and have a look around and and uh, give us an overview of our equipment, show us how to do replays, I, I'd love to hear from you. All. And sometimes it's difficult for you to give them live uh, broadcast, let alone. Uh let, let a little replay, Jace. Um, Jace, talking about that, did you did you see that little girl's face when she walked in, and her dad said, "Oh, look, it's on Sky tonight," and she was so worried that she was actually going to be on Sky. Oh, I'm so, sorry, are you talking? Oh. are you saying something? Oh, here we go again. Well, you started it oh. by being horrible. Oh. I'm not being horrible, I'm being truthful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's all right then, is it? <laughs> yeah. If, I, if you want me to be horrible, I'll have six little mates that can come with me. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. So, uh, so Benjamin a posh. Yeah. And Reese. Yes. You know, the 15 year old bouncer. Reese the camel. Ben, if you're still listening, ask him why he's Reese the camel. 
All I want to know is, has Ben Ben's taken the, the Ben's an alpaca. Has he taken the hat off? No, but he's put a monocle on. Yeah, no, I did see that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, somehow, I, I, it wouldn't surprise me if he does actually own a monocle. Mm. Yeah, oh yeah. It's a Benjamin of Posh. If not, he could probably get a gold one given to him by somebody. <laughs> you know. so there's one. There's an heirloom somewhere. Yeah. Do you reckon, like Ben's Sir Benjamin of Posh? Sir Benjamin of Posh. His like passport photo is rather akin to the little man on Monopoly oh. with the top hat and the cane. What's I don't know. He, he, I'm sure he's got a name, but yeah, with the top hat and the cane. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Reckon that's yeah. Sir Benjamin. Could of Posh. well be, yeah. I think you could be right. <laughs> you could be right. So it's great these these festivals, Rich. Well, uh, you know where where I think these go up a level from the other amazing County Cup finals we do is yeah. that you know with all the teams watching, it's, it's a great little atmosphere around the pitches. It is, yeah, yeah, it's great. It's great. Oh, it's, it's almost as if you get to the Premier Cup final and like all the teams from the semi final are here watching. You know? Yeah, yeah. And uh, hopefully that's what happens Should when we get to the... Have you ordered food? No, I haven't ordered food. You have, haven't you? I haven't. I haven't ordered food. But I think most of it, this is our anniversary meal. <laughs> <laughs> so you've arranged for a chef to come and cook for you, and Joanne's gone to the corner flag for you. Is, uh, that, is that how it works? Well, yeah, we've got, we got the chef tomorrow. She's ordered uh, cheesy chips, by the looks of it. <laughs> are they so cheesy chips? Yeah, they are cheesy chips. Uh, so, Mr. Lazarus... Uh, Chase, did you want anything, by the uh, way? Lazar- well, no, you, you can't expect the, the poor Lazarus... What did she just say? He can do what? He can do what? I think she said, <laughs> so, if you want something, she'll go and get it for you, Chase. I think that's what you said. Well, you funny said. enough, I, I heard the word off. I don't know what, what, what the word before it was. No, I didn't, so, I didn't hear that either. Yeah. So, yeah, Mr. Mike Lazarus of Lazarus Catering, if, you, if you're listening to this... Can you put cheesy chips on your menu tomorrow night? Oh, yeah. That'd go down well, wouldn't it? That would go down <laughs> Looks like these are going to go down well. The yeah. worrying thing is that... Oh, no, it was it was Joanne's card. Was sorry. it? Joanne's paid for it. Pomme de frites au fromage. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what, what we got Ilfa Coombe against um, someone coming in in front of me now. Bricks and Bowl looks of it, is it? I think Brixham are playing on the far pitch now, aren't they? Uh, uh, on, on pitch. Uh, one, uh, one of the teams in pink, yeah. Well, no, we've only got one team in pink, haven't we? Well, we've got, I've got a team in pink in front of me and the team in pink on the far pitch. Oh, look at those chips. Jace, Stop you wanna, it. Jace, you want to see these chips? Stop it. Do you want to see these chips? No, I don't want to see those chips. In fact, Scott's coming over with results now, so when... Have you have you noticed that Joanne's moved further away from me now? She's got those chips. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I would. Thank you, dear. She's giving you chips. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, I've got I've got to check, I've got to try then because you know, like like Sir Benjamin of Pot. So you, applications are now open for positions on our media team. Uh, if anyone would like to come, our next game is Saturday, the sixth of August. Here at Coach Road for the Pro Direct Champions Cup. It'll either be between DC Autos and Buckfast Lee or Lapford and Park United if semi finals are being played in July. So, yeah, come along, be part of it. And, you know, it's not, it'd be nice to have some proper team players on the media team that, you know, uh, spread the supplies around and not just try and wind up the producers. So, uh, anyone can come in. Uh, just drop us in info at devonfa.com if you want to be part of it. Hit us up on Facebook. It'd be great to have you. you can come down. You can point cameras. You can commentate, or you can you know push buttons and produce if you want. All right. Uh, you don't have to talk about chips. That's absolutely fine. But I'm going to love you and leave you now, and I'm going to put you back in the hands of Chip Man down there, who's going to uh, talk to you while I do some results. Thanks, Chase. That was uh, lovely. That was a lovely few chips as well. <coughs> yeah, yeah. So we've got a few games going on in front of us now. Um, the the shades coming in a little bit, so it's cool. It should be cooling down on the pitch. Um, but most people seem quite te- quite happy. Uh, we've got uh, what, we've got another referee here now. We've got Sam Gill here now as well. So Sam's going to help out in a minute and dive on and referee a couple of games. So yeah, we've got. 
at um, St. Martin's and Ilford B in, in the game in front of me. I think it's Olfington and Horrorbridge on the far side. Uh, both teams are in orange. One's in orange and black. One's in orange. We should have King Statement against Extra Strollers. And uh, Ilfra Coombe against Brixham on the far side. Yeah, it's really, really good. There's lots of, uh, still quite a few people in the in the ground as well. Um, but they're, uh, they're, everyone seems to be enjoying themselves. Most of all, Joanne, who's eating these chips, these cheesy chips in front of me. But after after doing a um, you know a mammoth stint of five hours on uh, on Sunday for the Ability Counts uh, Cup Finals, um, th the three hours tonight will be will be absolute to stroll in the park, would it, Chase? Yes, yes, I'm sure it uh, sure it will be a stroll in the park. Sorry, I was just doing. Uh Getting up to date with our, our results, but I've got I've got some pitch news for you. Oh, okay. Uh, the pitch in front of you is indeed pitch C. Okay. It's been uh, it's been <laughs> labelled wrong. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, the the teams didn't know where they were going either, so uh, okay. it, it wasn't just us that was confused. So I've got A and C in front of me. Yes. And you've A, got B and D. Yes. Absolutely. Okay. All right. So I've just got some uh, results in. I'm just. Uh, putting together the league tables and then we'll stick some uh, some up on um, screen. Jace, we've been asked, any chance you could pop to the Horrorbridge game, please? Oh, is this Ian again? Uh, no, it's Greg Smith. Um, where, which pitch of Horrorbridge play? Uh, um, the one in front of the shed. Uh, okay. So, well, I've kind of got two cameras covering that one, so I'll, I'll do my best to try and uh, pick them both up for you. So, uh, yeah, we, so we've got Eddie here refereeing now. Um, Sam's ready to go. Dan's, I think Dan's going to have a little bit of a break. Um, they need it as well. I, I know it's only walking yes. football, but uh, it is hot. Well, as, as we said, and walking football it is, yes. So physically, it's not actually that demanding, all right? Yeah, you've got the heat to deal with, of course, right? But physically, it's not that demanding. What it is is very mentally demanding. Yeah. Same. I find the same with uh, small-sided football as well because you're constantly watching everything here, there, and everywhere. So, uh, okay, right. So, do you want to do you want to try and um, and see these results and league tables? Yeah. Why not? Let's uh, let's give it a go. Let me just pull them all up here. Maybe C and D. Right. Let's let's do this. So let's start at the beginning. Let's have a look at Group A. So um, here's your results for Group A so far. The ones you're missing: Ilfracombe Town uh, nil, Talking United Yellows two, Team Drifters one, Extra Strollers uh, B nil. So that's your Group A results. Yep. And then the league table. If I just scroll up, looks somewhat like that. So, talking about Yellow's top, uh, two wins out of two, six points. And then just slotted in behind Extra Strollers being Team Drifters. All right, so then let's have a look at Group B. Group B looks like that. So, uh, results on the doors Argar Greens, nil, St. Martins A nil, so this one is still really, really it is tight. tight yeah. All right, because their league table now looks like this. If I can just scroll up a few, St Martins on four points. I got Greens on four points. Alfington and Horrorbridge uh, yet to register a point. So that one's quite interesting. Let's look at Group C. So here's Group C for you. So a 0-0, 1-0, and then Argyle Pilgrims registering a 3-0 over Charterlands. 
Um, so they're halfway through their league fixtures. And let's just quickly scroll down to the league table. So, yeah, their league table is... Uh, sorry, I was talking about group uh, D there. Uh, last result, 66-1, Twicky United Blue, nil. All right, got that. So there league table looking like this so 66 top with four points talking like blue with three st martin with one and ilford can yet to get a point uh, holding at the bottom of the group there and then as we move into group d so I just mentioned these results so we've got a nil nil one nil and then a three nil to argyle pilgrims mm -hmm. and then that makes the group the league table Interesting, because you've got Argyle top on four, but who's going to join them? Because you've got extra strollers, King Slate and Charlotte's all with a point each. Well, so that's going to change soon, isn't that? Yeah, well, it's got to, really. Yeah. Um, so I think goal difference and then goal scored is, is what's going to separate oh, right, okay. these. Okay. So, yeah, be interesting to see these next couple of results. So as we get the results in, we'll bring them to you and keep you as updated as we possibly can. What's going on in the chat, Rich? Have we got anything coming in? Uh, no, the last one was Greg asking to uh, pop over to the Horrorbridge game, which you've done, I think. Well, we're tr uh, trying. It, it's, you know, say it is somewhat difficult with the two. Mm. Yeah, but we'll try and get, bring you... But, um, I mean, it, it's great. Obviously, Jason, we, we thank Elevate for this. Yeah, play development app. Play. Free, seven day free trial available, Rich, if you're at Devon Energy Club. There you go, see? Well, so have I, oh, have I told you what we're going to do with that? Oh, this will, this will be a new thing for you. Oh. Yes. No, no, no. So Breaking news. Well, yeah, sort of. So what we're going to do is we're going to speak to Elevate and see if we can get uh, onto the app for free. All right. Stop eating chips. See, you're not concentrating. You're stuffing chips. And you've put that big chip in your mouth. Now you can't speak. And you've got cheese all over your fingers. Yes. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> So we yeah, we're we're, we're going to try. We're going to get the app. All right. See if uh, Elevate lets us uh, have a, a free download of it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get members of staff to do some of the drills. And we're going to oh. film you doing it. What do you mean? Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean? We're going to drill. We're going to skill. The skill sets yeah, no, and no, the skill no. drills. No, it was the we're going to film you doing it. Yes. No, well, I'm, I'm I'm cameraman. No, no, no. We're going to film you doing it. No, no. I'm the cameraman. No, no, no. Oh, well, no. I think it's media written above my door, Sancho. Not yours. Actually, I think it says general office. Well, it did say the office, but someone nicked our the. <laughs> We're yet to get to the bottom There's of that. The, 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 yes. the, the thief. Yes. A the thief. The thief. So, um, yeah, so we're going to do that. Second thing going to be great. So you're going to see how, how good the drills are. It's going to be really good. Or, or how bad the staff are at football. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, this is true. Well, we, you, you have got a member of the Devon FA rep team in your office. Yes, we have. Yeah. Yeah, we have with uh, with Jake. Yeah, Jake. So, you know, you should be good. Yeah. Uh, we've got our, our, our new star, Stu Boko, as well. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, um, no, it'll be good. Talking about new stars, we have got new starters as well. Got though, two we? new starters. Got two well, new stars. hang on. So, uh, Dan Dixon, who's coming in as the new football development officer to replace Howard Shaddock, he was a former FA skills coach. Exactly. So, so, if anyone should be able to do it, should be him. Absolutely. Yeah. So, Dan, when you when you come, um, we're looking forward to that, and obviously we're lo we're we're looking forward to playing the uh, back to the staff games. No, no, we finished well. that. Um, we're no, they're all done now. We're looking forward to them and uh, team development. Yes, no, staff's game's finished. Absolutely finished, yeah, we've done with that. We, we had a bit of a review. Uh, we decided that staff games are not, not the way forward. Not, not, for, uh, not for you? No, no, no. Oh, not for anyone. It's okay. an FA ruling. I mean, what can, what can we say? Oh, OK. No, it's an FA enough. ruling, so. Sorry. OK, what was, what would, how did it finish up, anyway? Uh, I be believe um, development were in front, weren't they? Okay. Did you not win the last two? Two? Yeah, I think we did. So, yeah, yeah, we no, well, well done to you guys for that. But, uh, 
yeah, sadly you won't get the opportunity now to, to add to your victories. But we'll, we'll go out so. as champions. We'll yeah, well, that's right. For, forever champions. Yeah, you can have that. That's okay. We won everything else, so, you know, you're right. I don't think the gingerbread uh, house uh, constitutes a... Comp well, and, oh, yeah, pumpkin as well, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, why, why do you think they don't... Well, gingerbread house, uh, I'd like to say, you know, we didn't use glue on ours. Whoa, well, you're, you're making accusations now you can't back up, Sunshine. Well, so only because the gingerbread house is gone. I just put your uh, put yourself into reverse here. Mm, you know, just because gingerbread house is no longer. Yeah, you could be getting yourself into a little bit of trouble here. There should be certainly litigation coming. Again? <laughs> Again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got a comment from uh, Trevor Richards. Glad Steve Reeves of Margo has put his shirt back on. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I take it the camera was, uh, was a little bit uh, close up. Well, I think he just happened to walk in front of the shot with his, uh, with his shirt off. So, yeah. Well, if you've got it, flaunt it. I haven't, so I don't. Same as me. <laughs> if we did it, Jason, the screen would go black. Yeah, we'd be Facebook, I'm pretty sure. Would uh, very very quickly take us off air. Yeah, we'd be in. Uh, <laughs> we'd permanently be in Facebook jail. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and deservedly so. Yeah, I yeah, reckon. Indeed. So no, it's all, it's all good. All right. So what's going on? We we haven't had, oh yeah, apart from a couple of little little outbursts. Uh, we've had no issues really, have we? No. It's no, been, we haven't. It's been quite pleasant. No, we haven't. Um, here tonight. Jace, can you, can you, I don't know if you can see the comments. I don't know if you can get okay. rid of that last one. Can I have a look? Oh, right. Okay, we can, we can do something with that. I'm not, uh, not sure, uh, not sure where that one came from, but it's on its way into, uh, it's on its way to uh, Facebook channel. Yeah, oh, well, you know, thank you, Egoi, for your comment. Uh, sadly, um, it's you, your you last go one. You're gone. <laughs> So, you know, if anyone is going to say something uh, controversial or, or plug uh, streams for this match that you can't watch anywhere else other than for free on our Facebook and YouTube, uh, yeah, please make sure your comment's a good one because it will be your last one. Oh, it's gone. The comment's disappeared. Oh, really? Oh. Oh, that's oh. a shame, isn't it? Oh. That's a shame. And, yeah, he's, he's now blocked from our, our wonderful uh, oh. Facebook. So he's going to miss all our future finals. Yep, won't be able to watch any more. He's going to miss the final tonight. And the rest of the league games and the yep. quarterfinal, the semi final. All oh. promised to be uh, 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 amazing games. Yeah. And he's going to miss the lot. Oh, so. wow. Yeah, sorry about that, mate. No. Oh, I'm not sorry. No. So. Yeah. It's like those people commenting on our, our Twitter posts. You know, have your opinion, but come on, keep, keep the language uh, clean and remember, you know, there are people. Uh, to work for Devon FA that are, are thoroughly nice deserving people that uh, we're just trying to do our best for, for local football and we don't deserve some of the stuff that goes on there no that was uh, <laughs> that, that was a bit extreme as well yes. wasn't it there we go uh, let's move on let's keep this positive because this is walking football and uh, it's an amazing night Pos positive news uh oh the, the shades started to get more more shaded now than uh, the non-shaded yeah so the only referee that's actually in the shade or not in the shade is our, our own Daniel down, yeah. Poor old Daniel, over there in the. Uh, well, he's almost he's almost in the BMX track. Let's see if we can pick up Daniel on screen. So yeah, there he is, right at the top of your screen there. Things are going remarkably well. Aren't they just? Have Horrorbridge pin it finished on the far side? No, I think that they're still going. So the game's on, on now. So there you go. I, I love the fact that Ian said, is it on B or D? Yeah, yeah uh, to be fair, we, yeah, don't, know we don't know either. <laughs> right, hang on, I'm just going to move the camera right a little bit. Well, whilst, whilst I'm here on my own... Um, I want to do a shout out to all the uh, volunteers that we've got that have helped with the. Um, that was that was Jason. If anyone heard a bit of a crackle, then um, 
all the volunteers that we had during our cup finals. Um, without them, it would be re- very, very difficult. Um, they are sat there at the moment with their feet up, which is great um, because there's nothing for them to do. Um, but they've been here for every cup final. Right, I um, am so glad there's oh. no commentator camp because I. Re- <laughs> did you fall over? <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> I, I did. I did comment that uh, you'd kick something. Well, did you, you heard my headphones? Yes, fall I, did. I, I was just. I was just thanking our um, volunteers. Uh, yes, have you com- named them all? No, 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 I haven't. So I'll let you do that. We got Anessa and Eddie Green, and Zeta and Ian Harris. See, that's the first time you've been able to say no, Zeta. Yeah, because I've been saying properly. Zanita. Yes, right? you have. So I've gone Annette and Zanita. <laughs> I don't know why I've done it. Um, yeah, so four people that have volunteered their time to come. And look after the teams here tonight. Make sure they get a great experience here at Devon FA. And to, yeah, look after everyone. And we couldn't do it without them, really. No, and I'm just saying, actually, tonight they sat there with their feet up and they thoroughly deserved to yeah. sat there with their feet up. Ian Nichols, so much running and tackling from behind. No comment. No comment. But that's the way to have an opinion, isn't it? Yeah. From Ian. Yeah. Respectfully, got his point across. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Ian, what, don't, come back to Devon, please. We need more like you. Uh, oh, 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 oh God, uh, is it? Uh, age, age you block one. someone? Yeah, that big block. Oh, there's another oh, one. There's another one. There you go. What's going on here? Uh, Bella, goodbye. See you later. Um, Mark, I wasn't on about blo- blocking you. Good evening, Mr. Bailey. Um, hope hope all is well. Um, we're missing you tonight. I'm not. I am. I've got no one sat next to me. Well, apart from Joanne. Oh, wow. So, hang on. Hang on. You'd rather have Mark Bewley sat next to you than Joanne. Is that what you're saying? No. no Stephen, no. Stephen Mason, if you're no. listening to this, can you just, like, just do a, uh, an audio grab of this and play it back to your mum later? Are you still eating? Stop no. eating chips. No, I'm not eating chips. <laughs> you are eating chips. I'm not. What are you eating now? Nothing. Like? Well, oh, right, okay, God now, is it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Scott's coming up with some more results, so I'm going to uh, drop off for a minute. I'll see you in a bit. Yeah, um, Mr. Booley, I, I, I am missing you tonight. Um, we, had a, we had a fantastic day on uh, Sunday. At the uh, ability count, it just seemed uh, it seems an age ago now. But yeah, five and a half hours we were five and a quarter hours we were on uh, comms. So uh, yeah, thoroughly good day, day though. Um, and t- tonight is going just as well. Um, we're nearly, I think, we're getting towards the end of the, uh, the group stages. So yeah, and then we've got, uh, as Jason said earlier, quarterfinals and. Uh, Semi-finals, so the top two from each t- each group go into the quarters, uh, and then obviously straight into the semis and the final. Um, the final should be sometime around nine nine fifteen, and when they get to the finals, they are straight ten minute games. There is no uh, no half time, straight ten minute games. Yeah, I know, Mark. It was it, it was a uh, <coughs> it was a long, long day. <coughs> yeah, that, that, that Mark. That's exactly why I'm missing you, because actually, as, as co-commentator, you led all the uh, all the interviews, and and I, I dare say that um, Harriet from uh, Pino Ladies probably still hasn't left get, let go of the uh, trophy. They were they were that excited to uh, to win it that um, yeah I don't think she's let go of the trophy yet mate. Jace, if you're back, Mr. Booley says hello. Honestly, he doesn't say anything else. Oh right, okay. Do I not want to look back through the comments? No, he then? says he right. says. Is, uh, it, is it that bad? He says what a what a lovely man you are. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's not the words he normally uses. No. I've got to be honest. No. Uh, but uh, do you want some uh, scores? Well, you can you can do the scores. Oh, yeah, go on. You can do the scores. Okay, so there you go. You've got Group A. 
uh, some goals goals in Group A. So Ilfracum Town seven, Brixham Town nil. Uh, Talk United Yellows uh, two nil winners over Extra Strollers B. So yeah, plenty of goals in that one, and that is going to make your league table look like that. So it looks pretty much like Torquay United Yellows are going through uh, in that one because they got nine points at the minute. And then Extra Strollers. Let's put it up there. Ilfracombe, Extra Strollers on three. Team Drifters also on three. So, you know, Brixham Town, they've only played two games, nil points. I think they've still got the opportunity if they win the next two to put themselves in contention. So that, um, that could be interesting. Hello. Hello. Oh, sorry, I thought you'd go. No, 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 no. That's um, right. Let's have a look at uh, Group B for you. So here's Group B. So you've got uh, no goals in the last two games. Argyle Greens nil, St Martins nil, Alphington nil nil against Horrorbridge Rangers A. So with I think all teams have got one game to play now. So that makes this group really quite interesting. So you've got St. Martins on four, Argyle Greens on four, Alphington and Horrorbridge on one point each. So, yeah, I still think these last uh, last two games are going to be important on but that pitch. But Horrorbridge are currently playing Argyle. So if I'm, if I'm right and Horrorbridge win that, that'll be three teams on four points. Absolutely. And then, obviously, it's the other team on one point, if they um, win yeah. their, their last game, Everyone will be on yeah. four. Falfington beat uh, St. Martins in the Exeter Derby there. <laughs> you got going into, yeah, you're going to have, um, yeah, that's going to be an interesting one. All right, so then let's look at uh, Group C. Group C for you here. So, get that up for me. So, Newton out 66 1, Talk United Blues 0. All right, so Talk United Blue kept to. Uh, a nil scoreline for the first time tonight. St. Martin's three, Ilfracom Town B, a nil. So in that one, again, I think this is going to go down to, let's put it right in the right place for you. St. Martin's B top with four, Newton 66 also four, Talking United Blue three. Looks like the uh, top two places are going to be between the, those three. So it's going to be interesting now, these last couple of games. It's all getting really, really tight. And let's have a look at Group D for you. Group D is, uh, so we got a 3-0 to our goal, Pilgrims and Chartlands. I think we had that one last time. But King State nil, Strollers A nil. So we've had three draws in this, in this group already. So that means your league table looking like so. Our goal, Pilgrims our goal top, four. wouldn't it? Yeah. Strollers a two point, King Saint two points, Chartlands one point. So again, one game each for each team. Any of them can go through. Really, really tight. Really, really tight. It's been really good, isn't it? Yeah. We're, we're, we're almost at a knockout stage already. Oh, yeah, yeah. In a couple of them groups, yeah, absolutely. These, uh, these last games are crucial. You know. Absolutely crucial. Especially, I mean, the. Um, Argyle, uh, Horrorbridge, that group. You know, those results go <laughs> one way. We've got four teams all tied together. Yep. Um, <laughs> and I'm glad that we're not the ones sorting out. Yeah. Would would we want that? I no. don't know. It's kind of exciting, isn't it? But you, at the end, oh, yeah, yeah, no, you, no. So what would it like be going out? You're going out. On you've goal difference. And you've and you you're on the same amount of points as the two yeah. teams that went through. Is that referee Sam Gill over there wearing tracksuit bottoms? I mean, what, what's he playing at? Remember I said earlier on, yeah. Sam, you don't need to wear tracksuit bottoms. Well, he's, he's just casually drifted off <laughs> off shot now, so I can't show you. Yeah, but he's got tracksuit bottoms on. To be fair, I think it's the only person in the ground that's actually wearing anything. There he, there he comes, there he comes. Look, 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 tracksuit bottoms. He's boiling hot. What a great save there by the keeper boiling as well. Hot. Uh, oh, Mr. Mr. Bruley's commented uh, Harriet was a gem. So we were talking about Harriet from uh, oh, Pinot Ladies. Oh, is that the, the girl that wouldn't get the trophy up? That's the one. <laughs> yeah. What, what a lovely interview. 
It was great, wasn't it? Yeah, no, 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 really good. It was great, and and but not not just Harriet, but all of them. You know, they yeah. they were they were really nice, open, uh, great. You know, great insight into why they play football. Yeah, but also, also let's give let's give a shout out to you know both yourself and Mark because actually a lot of it's got to come down to the skill of the interviewers as well, didn't you? So you know, yeah. you ask the right questions, you get the right answers, and uh, yeah, it made for made for good listening. So w- well done to you two. Thank you. Did Very you just cool. compliment me then? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <coughs> screen grab that one. <coughs> You're gonna screen grab a piece of audio? Yeah, yeah. Gonna yeah. Work. Well, I don't know. I'll I'll get you to do something. <laughs> Yeah, I might have lost that. Yeah, <laughs> guessed as much. <laughs> so, what are you doing the weekend, Jace? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Nothing at all. This is a... a we don't get many of them, do we, as County FA staff and uh, and as referees. So, I've actually got a referee with nothing on. So, you know, I'm sure I'll have a few jobs around the house. But as we've got the house with uh, the three dogs... Mm-hmm. I'm sure Nina will take the opportunity and, and actually have some some free time with somebody else looking after the animals. Okay. Um, so and, and, of course, the uh, cats. So are you going to be on cat rescue? Yeah, the ladder will be out uh, up and down the tree again, I suspect. Nightmare. Nightmare. This one cat. You, I'm I'm s- I'm just, just, you know, out thinking outside that box, why not just chainsaw the tree down? Yeah, you really think I could be trusted with a chainsaw? <laughs> no. <laughs> There's a reasoning. No. There's a no, reason no, that Nina good. does the gardening in our okay. house because I cannot be trusted with power tools. Okay. <laughs> I've only cut the cable on the hedge trimmers a couple of times. So, so every time I come in the office and you go, if it hasn't got a plug on it, I don't want to know. Half of your electrical uh, equipment hasn't got a plug on it then because you've cut through it. No, no. That's why. This is why I enjoy it so much here at work because at work I I have the trust for using electrical items so i have to take full advantage of it at home nina knows me best you see and keeps me away from things like that uh, mark beauty comments like that are going to get you banned from the stream young man so you know cup chairman or not keep it uh, polite or you will be banned and you explain that one at your cups committee meeting on wednesday well he, he would but he'll be banned from the you yeah. know he What's won't he? know, will he? Well, he's the chairman, so yeah. he can say what he wants. <laughs> well, he can say what he wants. And at, he's, at the meeting. Yeah, wow, we got a compliment from Richard Mason. Is he ill? Don't ill. Read, don't no, read he's it. not ill. Don't read it out. I, I th- well, maybe maybe it is, Mark. Maybe he did He did say he came out earlier and moved some goals. I think it's a bit of heat stroke. I think the sun's got to him because he hasn't got a lot of hair, has he? So uh, I, think, I, think he's, uh, yeah, I think he's got a little bit of heat stroke. But I wouldn't change him for anything. Well, okay, yeah, camel maybe. <laughs> oh, what a goal! What a goal! The game in front of you. I know you're watching it, Jason. Right? <coughs> no, I'm, I'm googling uh, bullying in the workplace uh, and what to do about it. I would have thought there's a risk assessment for that somewhere. <laughs> Not in our place, there isn't. <laughs> Who scored the goal then, Rich? Uh, team in white. The team in white. <laughs> the ones that are playing Argyle. Well, the Argyle are playing on both pitches. Uh, so, uh, that's got to be Argyle Horror Bridge up there, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So we're, th- we're thinking this is Group D. Yes. So that fixture would then be... Uh, let's let's have a look. Is it Strollers against Argyle? Charterlands and Strollers? Oh, good. Mm. See, we have no idea what's going on. So that could be Kings. No, it could be Kings State and Argyle Pilgrims. This could be the last group. Yeah, it could well be. So that kicked off at nineteen fifty, according to to this. So yeah, yeah, it could well be. Yeah. yeah. Not sure that our the fixtures that are being played are actually matching (laughs) what we've got on the fixture list. (laughs) So, all right, okay. This this is the fixture list that I had from Ash. Uh, when he asked me to print them out about an okay, hour before. Okay, so what have you got off. on Group uh, and Group D then? Uh, Charterlands against Extra Strollers is 7.30. Yeah, that's what I've got. And that's and then, clearly not. And then King Stainton against Pilgrims. So Unless they've swapped the last two games around, I'm not quite sure. Yeah. So that re- that could be King Stainton playing there against Argyle. That would make sense. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> 
We'll see. Horrible arranger, amber and black. Yeah, that's the only one we're able to work out. Um, apart from Horrible, I got foxed at R and T because they turned up in a blue kit, and I spent like ten minutes wandering, was, wandering that, around the venue. That was on the Sunday, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, looking for Horrible. Going, they're not here. They're not here. Panicking, and then rang. Where are you? I said we're here. What do you mean you're here? Yeah, I'm down the end. Are you? I can't. Oh yeah, Jace. We're in a different kit. Oh. <laughs> Absolutely got me there, and that was that was just after we came over on the Sunday, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, 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 absolutely. So the first thing I see is Jason panicking because the team's not arrived. So can you, watch Jace? Those you cheesy chips were lovely, by the way. What? Cheesy chips. What? Lovely. What? You get, get it out. Lo oh, cheesy chips. Lovely. Che my. Okay. I can't believe you fell for that. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Bruley, can we please get a new secretary of the Cups Committee? Oh dear. Rich, uh, Rich why is Mark Bewley uh, laughing, crying emojis at health and safety? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, I don't, maybe he knows something that we don't. Yeah, well, maybe. Oh, oh, horrendous tackle. Oh, no, it wasn't Jace, obviously. <laughs> the good thing is that when they do make a foul, or commit a foul, they uh, they sort of pick each other up, don't they? Yes. No, it's, it's in terms of respect to your opponent, it's been, uh, well, it looks wonderful from up here. Yeah, it's not bad, is it? Yeah, no, it's really it's good. It's not bad. Well, let's hope this continues into the... Well, we're at the stage where all these games are mattering, as we've seen with the league tables. But when we get to knockout football, who knows? Yeah. So I, I enjoyed the walking football we played. You played? Yeah. I didn't play. No, it was good. Where did you play walking football, Jess? Well, no, I, I, I didn't mention it for that. But, you know, it's just to... You know, people walking football. Yeah, I actually have a go at it. It's quite good. Oh, it's goal there. Goal there for 66. Down on pitch. Yeah, I was actually watching the game. So you're watching the game in I'm front of me. I'm watching, watching the game in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've got to keep the Horrorbridge game on screen for uh, uh, for Ian. Yeah. To watch, which we have uh, uh, gladly done for you, young man. You can also catch a bit of the uh, Argyle against we think King whoever State, yeah, <laughs> King Staten game uh, just underneath it. Pleased to be able to bring you as much uh, uh, as much of this festival as we possibly can. Oh hello, we've got a yellow card. Oh dear. Oh. Oh dear. Yeah. Okay. First, um, so is this a, a dismissal? What, was that? Uh, do they yellow card? Is that sin bin for a, all offences, Rich? That's a sin bin, isn't it? Yeah. So is that normal in walking football, or is it just dissent? Or um, I'm I'm not sure. To be brutally honest, I think it's everything. So any yellow card offence is a uh, is a sin bin. So, uh, and unfortunately, he's uh, he's carrying on. So. Needs to be careful. All that uh, temporary will become permanent. Yes, and that that won't do him or his uh, his team any good at whatsoever. Oh no, Greg, we are covering it. You can see it at the top of your screen. Thing is, what I can't do, Greg, is is cover it all with the one with the one angle you see, because we've got to cover half the pitch with one camera. So it does make it a bit challenging, but you can see it. Up there, I've not moved uh, not moved it off for you. So, Greg and Ian, what you're going to need to do is just hope that they get to the final, and then uh, then we'll cover it properly. Will we? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's only one pitch, you see, and we can. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, well, I can adjust <coughs> things accordingly. Um, have you seen where Ali sat at the moment, Jase? <laughs> <laughs> just sat there quietly watching a game of football. Taking a few shots when he feels like it, not a, not a go, just uh, with his camera. <laughs> this is the camera that he uh, he dropped uh, the other the other week, I believe, or obviously a replacement camera. 
but he, he dropped his camera. He threw in a tantrum on the floor at the AGM. That's the one. Oh, well, that's okay. what Mark Bridley said, anyway. Yeah, I've heard all about that. Yeah. Is this the same Mark Bewley that, that paused his speech at the AGM to get his picture taken? Uh, it could be. Mm. Yes. <clears throat> and you, but you're both having a pop at me, eh? Mm. Yeah. And, um, and this is uh, this is Ali who uh, who actually forgot to bring his camera to one of the finals, left it in the boot of his car. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> had all the lenses uh, and no camera. But you know what? We love him. He's the best cameraman around. Yeah, we love him. Does weddings? Does events? Christmas? Weddings? Yeah, weddings? Yeah, weddings? He does a lot. Rich? Do I need to do I need to book him? Yeah, just let the one Joanne know. Um. So. Uh, Steve Preeley. Uh, have you seen nothing from Steve Preeley tonight, Jase? No, um, I've not seen that he's watching or, or anything. So uh, maybe he's actually taking Ursula out for a, a Friday night meal. Again. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Well, he took her out for lunch the other day. Oh, he's always taking her out for lunch. Yeah, but he, they went to Exmouth. He goes everywhere. Yeah, no. Everywhere on the train. Yeah, yeah. Loves it. Oh, does Ursula, I thought Ursula drove. Oh she, oh, she may drive now. I don't know. Yeah, yeah I thought uh, oh, she okay. drove and that she they go out to, to lunches together in a, in her car. So. Oh, that's very nice, isn't it? Very romantic. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, it's not often we have a, a, a broadcast here and Stephen Brewley's not involved. Scott, right. Scott's in front of me. Scott's on the way. Okie dokie. So I'll, uh, I'll just finish off. And then I'll oh, go and get these oh. results. See, these could be quite key. So, yeah, you fill for a minute, and I'll be back back soon. Yeah, so we're we're at the uh, last. Well, we'll think it's towards the last uh, group games now. <coughs> I've got Torquay Blues in front of me. Um, so I'm assuming that they are playing St Martin's B, which about works it out because they're. A, St. Martins are in pink. Um, so that's the last game on, in Group C. That's on in front of me. Uh, and we think that's uh, Kings Tainton against Argyle Pilgrims on pitch D, which is the uh, team in green against the team in white. And we have on the very far side uh, Brixham against Torquay Yellows. At least I know where that one is. So Team Drifters and Ilfra Coombe have played. Um, but yeah, there's still there's still quite a lot of people in the in the ground. Um, they seem to be enjoying themselves. Players are certainly enjoying themselves. So uh, yeah, I'm going to try and grab someone in a minute. See who they're spectating, who they're who they're here watching, who they're cheering on, and uh, yeah, see where we go from there. Jason's just uh, <coughs> sorting out the last of the uh, results, I think, with uh, with Scott. Who have we got refereeing at the moment? We've got Liam, uh, Robin, Sam and Dan. So Eddie and uh, Ash. No, uh, Ash is doing the presentation, getting the presentations ready for the league. Uh, trophies, as Jason's announced already. Uh, and I think Eddie's now putting his feet up and enjoying. And uh, thank you to Eddie for standing in. Here comes Ash with a big smile on his face. Um, yeah, he's giving me the thumbs up. Ash, you coming up for a chat? Oh, he's coming up in a minute. That'll be about 10 minutes then. No, I know, mate. <laughs> I know. Oh, she's here. Look, she's had a meal. She's had a drink. Yeah. Oh, that would be great, mate. Thank you very much. Um, we're nearly at quarterfinal stage, aren't we? Uh, yeah, we've got one game left on Group B, C and D. And I think we've got two games left after Brixham against Torquay United Yellows on Group A. But no, it's all going well so far. Teams are really enjoying it, aren't they? They, they, look, they look absolutely shattered. And A is only walking football, but uh, I know the heat's taken, taken its toll on, uh, on a few, isn't it? Definitely. I think now the sun's kind of gone down. It looks like there's a bit more shade on the pitch. So, um, But now it's got, gone good well. Everyone's enjoying it. So, good stuff. 
I'm going to remind Dan that you've put him on the pitch where the sun goes down last, all right? I'll remind him of that on Monday. And there's you with your uh, your suntan from the other day when you were out on the pitch. Um, so yeah, you had a you had a red triangle down from your down from your throat, uh, where your t-shirt was open. So yeah, poor old Dan over there, look, the only one in the in the uh, in the sun. Thanks, Ash. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the draw for the uh, quarterfinals, mate. <coughs> Much appreciated. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. So, did Ash give, give you some results, or do you need them? No, Ash, Ash is... Well, I can have some results. Ash has given me the draw for the um, quarterfinals. How do we know he's in the quarterfinals? No, sorry, the uh, position. So, A1 against B2, sort of. Oh, okay. All oh, right, yeah. good, because no. I don't need that. But, no, okay. Um, so, Team Drifters 1, Ilfracom Town 0 is the result that you, you're missing from... Uh, group, a. Group A. Yeah. So there, that means, yeah, yeah, I'm still here. So talking about yellows are pretty nailed on to go through with that. And nine points. Team Drifters six. Ilfracombe Town and Extra Strollers three. Uh, Brixton Town yet to yet to register. All right. So there's the uh, lead table on screen for you there. Uh, let's have a look at uh, Group B. This is where it now starts getting interesting. So Argyle Greens two. Horrorbridge nil. Is uh, is that one, and this is going to do the following to the league table? We think Argyle Greens on seven points, so they're going to go through. Just oh, what well, they're going to go through in first or second? St Martin's A in four, Alfington, Horrobridge on one each, um, and then we've got. Group C for you. Just okay, that is there. So 66 5 0 winners over Ilfracum. All right, so some goals goals in that that group. Lots of, lots of goals in yeah, that group. But 66 top on seven points. Uh, so they're going to go through uh, St. Martin's B4, Talk United Blue. So the game in front of you mm -hmm. is going to decide who's going through. All right, okay. All right, so if it's a draw, St. Martin's in pink go through. Mm -hmm. uh, if Torquay win, then they go through. St. Martin's okay. win, they go through. So that one's quite crucial. And then let's go to Group D now. So they're well ahead of time. So these are games that should have kicked off at 10 to 8. Yeah. And actually, they're coming to a conclusion already. So that's Group D, nil nil, No goals. This one is tight. Really, really was that, was that chart alums against extra strollers? No, no. Yes. Okay. So King Saint Argyle Pill Williams is is the game that's being played now. Not long to go in that one, and the league table looks like that. In fact, that's how long to go. So four Argyle Pill Williams, three extra strollers, King Saint, and three Chartlands, three. So Argyle Pilgrims are through. Mm-hmm. All right, on four points. So it's just now to see whether King State can join them or Extra Strollers A right, okay. go through <coughs> one of the two. So oh, we that was a see great strike down in front of me from uh, Torquay Blues. You know, a fantastic save as well by the keeper. <coughs> oh. <coughs> so let's just wait for these results to come in and then we'll be able to confirm who's through and uh, yeah. a little bit of the quarter final draw so you've got the draw for the quarter finals I have yeah ah, okay I have well I've got the league positions of who, oh, yeah. who will play so, who? Go on then, hit me with it. <coughs> so, first quarter final is... A1 versus B2. A1 versus B2. And that's on pitch A. Hang on, hang on. Good. 
A1 versus B2. Yep. Second. Uh, A2 versus B1. Okay. On pitch B. Equals A2 versus B1. Yep. Okay. Uh, Quarterfinal three is C1 versus D2. Equals C1 versus D2. D2, yeah. Excellent. And then, so this must mean this is... D D1 versus C2. D1 versus... Two. So, as it stands, with these one results come in, it would be Talking United St. Mines, Team Drifters, Argyle, 66, Strollers A, Argyle, Pilgrims, St. Mines B. So, is it... So I'm just doing the semi-final now. Because <laughs> I can Right, so is just waiting for Scott to make his way up with the results, and then we can get get some of these uh, semi-finals confirmed for you. Okay, thank you. You're very welcome. Still there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you yeah. eating yeah. chips? Or no, no, no. I'm. Uh, well, are you having a drink? Hang on. No, oh, I've got I'm, a drink. Hang on. I'm, Hang I'm, on. I'm watching. Uh, I'm watching Dan. I'm watching Dan referee. Uh, he's just uh, had a, had a quite a word with somebody uh, for a uh, a sharp pull. Well, it couldn't oh. be that quiet if you heard it. Oh, here. to be fair, I could see it from here. I could see the sharp <laughs> pull from here. <laughs> right. so Hang on, got some results. I'll oh. be back in a minute. More results. So if anyone wants to know how uh, how things are going, or uh, you know, just just keep following us. We'll uh, we'll let you know. Um, Ali from Miracle PR still doing his photos. He'll be here all night. So if anyone uh, wants to see the the photos, they'll be online next week. Um, but he does some fantastic shots. Has done all of our uh, all of our cut finals. Right, so uh, we've got one result in, which confirms Group D. Okay. So the last game, King Staten won, and Argyle uh, Pilgrims nil. So that puts King Staten top of the group with five points, Argyle Pilgrims second with four. So they're the two teams that are going through uh, in that one. Okay, thank you. All right. So currently, uh, if everything stays as it is, King Staten will play St. Martin's B. Mm -hmm. And Argyle Pilgrims are going to go up against 66. Okay. So Argyle in, are in uh, quarterfinal three and King Staten in quarterfinal four, four. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah. And okay. yeah. got a result from Group A. Oh, go on. Go on, hit me with it. Brixham Town nil. Torquay United, United Yellows. Yellows. Ten. 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 What a performance from them, that, that is. is uh, that is something special, isn't it? Because only ten minute games. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty impressive. That is pretty impressive, I've got to say. So, Tokyo United Yellows, uh, four wins out of four, 12 points. Uh, yeah. Team Drifters uh, played three. Uh, one, two, lost one, six points. Ilfracombe Town... Extra Strollers both on three, uh, Brixham Town on nil. So, Tokyo United Yellow's got one uh, 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 finished. All right, okay. All right, so they're through. So, it's between Team Drifters, Ilfracum, Extra Strollers, and Brixham Town to get into that second spot. Um, so, you've got Extra Strollers are playing Ilfracum as we speak. And they're still, still tight at the top. Yeah, yeah. And I think the last game is Team Drifters against Brixham Town. Okay. So, 
you know, if team drifters, it's in their hands, really. Yeah. Because no matter what happens, they'll become an extra strong. If one of them wins, they both go on six points, and then team drifters need a, a draw or a win against Brixham Town to go through. So you'd have them down as slight favourites at the minute, mm -hmm. but you never know. Uh, group B, so the final game is Alfington against St. Martin's A, uh, which right. is over. Uh, you'll see this now on the on the top of your screen. And that's the uh, that's the game in front of the shed, yeah? Yeah, so mm. Argyle Greens are already through with seven. St. Martin's A got four. Alfington have got one. So Alfington need to win and score two goals more than St. Martin's. So if they win 2-0... Mm -hmm then they go through on goal difference. Oh, okay. Anything else is the St. Martin's win. Oh, wow. Uh, and then they go to Group C. Uh, the last game is St. Martin's. B. This is the game right This is the one in front of, of me, you. yeah. Yeah, so let's put a little bit of that up on screen now. There you go, you see a bit of it there. St. Martin's B, Talking United Blue. 66 are through as group winners. Mm -hmm. All right. Unless St. Martin's B... Yep. Um, win by two clear goals. Okay. All right. And then St. Martin's go through as group winners, 66 as runners up. Mm -hmm. Or if Torquay United win, then they go through in second. Oh. A draw puts St. Martin's through. Okay. All right. So the results needed favouring St. Martin's, Martin's the, there. Yeah. But yeah. Torquay have to go all out. Have you seen any goals yet? Um, I haven't. Um We've had a couple of near misses, but I haven't seen any uh, any goals. Well, it looks very much like a possession. Uh, it is, based yeah. Game there at and the I, I, I think St. Martin's may have worked out the fact that actually they they don't really need to uh, win. Need to do anything, no. You know, they um, <coughs> they seem to be playing, like you say, getting the ball, keeping it up quite high up the uh, up the pitch, and uh, yeah, letting Torquay if they can get the ball. And then uh, I think that was a run, which has been penalised. So for St. Martins, uh, a, a draw puts them up against King Stainton. Yeah, that's a enough win to see them through. Yeah, puts them up against Argyle Pilgrims. Mm -hmm. So effectively, they're they're playing to see who they get in the quarterfinal. Yeah, <clears throat> and and w which one would be the uh, the difficult, more difficult tie? Would it be against King Stainton or would it be against Argyle? So uh, who knows? It's all uh, could all be tactics uh, of uh, how things are going. Looks like the Olfington uh, fixture has finished up in the up in the far corner from us, or from me. Olfington against St Martin's A. Um, so now we're yeah and uh, Torquay Blues and St Martin's is finished. And I think I think that finished nil nil. Don't hold me to that, but I think that finished nil nil. So, uh, as uh, possibly that St. Martin. So, looking at um, the Torquay um, manager and uh, coach, yeah, it looks like they uh, he looks a little bit disappointed. So, it looks like they're probably out. Um, but we will wait and see. Uh, Greg Smith, yeah, great effort from uh, from Horbridge. They're um, they're fantastic. It's been a, it's been a really really good day. Or oh, evening, Ian, Ian Mulholland. Yeah, well done, Bridge. Great effort. Yeah, they've uh, they've been really sorry. Really Rich, doing some camera oh, adjustments sorry. there. <laughs> sorry, I didn't realise you were here. <laughs> oh. It was it was really nice. It was nice and quiet in here. What? For, it was nice and quiet in my ears for a change. What? Pardon? I'm not even going to reply to that. Easy in it. Oh, you've done me again, me? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's twice I've got you tonight. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So, do we know what that result was uh, underneath you? I think it was nil nil, but don't hold me to it. Oh. Um, I was I was watching a bit of the other game as well. <laughs> um, I forgot that this one in front of me was quite important. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing with four games going on. It, it it is difficult, isn't it? Yeah, looking at um, I don't I, I don't know. Looking at Torquay United when they came off Torquay Blaze, they looked a little bit. Disappointed. Right, so, okay. Oh, Trigger's on his way. Oh, hang on. <clears throat> so, 
So yeah, there are a few people now just uh, oh, more coming out of the bar with beer. 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 Joanne, beer. Beer. We're not having another beer ball. Hashtag beer. Hashtag barrel of beer. Hashtag Premier Cup final hit all over again. Right, I don't know if you caught that. <coughs> Are we having a penalty shoot? We've got breaking news. So in Group B, mm -hmm. uh, let me chuck. Uh, bear with me a second. I'll just put put it up on. Uh, what was what was the score on? On the screen for you. Uh, da, 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 let's do that, that, that. All right, replace, and then Group B. So th this is this is breaking news, right? Because we have. I know it's it's quite dramatic. In fact, in all the tournaments. I can't remember the last time um, I came across this. Uh, because there's your, your results. So the last result was Alfington nil, St. Martin's A1. Right. <coughs> All right. Now, why that is significant? Because it levels everything up. It does. Is it puts both teams at the top on seven points. Okay. Both with a goal difference of three. Both have scored four goals and, and they conceded one. And they drew. And the head-to-head -head between the two was nil-nil. Mm-hmm. So the only way to separate them is they're going to have a penalty shootout. So this is a penalty shootout to see... They're both in the quarterfinals. Yes. This is a penalty shootout to see who goes in which quarterfinal. Correct. Wow. You don't get this in the FA Cup, do you? No. No. Imagine this in the Champions League. Well, I was a United fan. You no, Champions League? Know, What's that? You? What's yeah. that? Uh, there's nothing wrong with Thursday so night football. <laughs> It is. It's on Thursday night. So I'm just going to just adjust the camera ever so slightly. And uh, I'm going to pop you all on that so you can see that. And then I'm going to cut this it's out so you can see it properly. And we'll try and uh, zoom in on the penalty shootout so you can uh, so you can enjoy it with us. So a penalty shootout. Just to see which court final they're going to be playing in. Yes, I've not, yeah, I've never seen anything like this before. Mm. This could only happen at Devon FA. Ashley Harris on a Friday night. It's only happened at an Ashley Harris. It's, event. it's a trigger event, isn't it? Yeah. Our well, trigger Harris has got involved, and we've got to have a penalty shootout. Mm-hmm. Right. Any, any comments? Any anyone experienced this before? I certainly haven't. Trevor Richards, he has turned the camera around. Yeah, yeah, we'll show Hopefully, it. hopefully he's turned the right camera around. <laughs> <laughs> Problem is, Trevor, we don't know where it's being held yet. So uh, this is uh, young Ashley Harris down the bottom here. So Ashley's trying to sort it all out. There we go. There he is. So we're just now waiting to see where we're going to do this penalty shootout. And yes, we'll bring it to you. We do have one one game going on as well, Jace. So we'll just watch uh, that one for a minute. Until yeah, the I think this is the the, the most exciting. Oh, just hit the bar. So this is the one where team is that uh, team strollers down there. Uh, they're uh, playing Brixham. So. Yeah, so it's in their hands, isn't it? If they mm -hmm. win, they're th they're through. Yeah, they've just hit the bar. Uh, team. Okay, team so strollers. let's look. The, the penalty shootout is. Is going down this end. And then bear with me a second. So they're going shed shed end.
There you go. So I think the first penalty was scored. The first guy in the white scored. shirt stood right in the way. Second each. one scored. Oh, the third one was scored. This could go on for a long, long time. There you go. 2-1. Two, two, Excellent. We can see it now. <laughs> there you go. So you can see it all there. Is it one step for a penalty? Yep. Oh, two each. Is that 100% uh, so far? 100%, yeah. So this is us. So thanks to Elevate, we're able to bring you drama like this. Yeah, you, you don't it. get this anywhere no. else. Keeper scores. scores. Tell you what, no one was stopping that one. No, absolutely. So the taking care and walking football county cup final. Penalty shootout to decide who goes through first and second in the group. Keeper scores. scores. Yeah. So is that three all? Uh, I, I think or that keeper had to take it again, didn't he? Oh, okay. And scored. So and scored, go. yeah. So that's good. So we're still three each, or is this three uh, two now? I think it's three two with third one coming. Right, okay. Scored. Oh. I tell you what, it's not easy to do in these little goals, is it? No. One one step. <coughs> no. Um. Although you did lob me from about 30 yards. But. Well, I didn't want to go into that. But. Save! Save! <laughs> so, that's... Advantage, advantage to uh, St. Martins. But this this doesn't get them knocked out. <laughs> no. This is just to see who, <laughs> who goes, goes through. Who goes first and who goes through second. Save. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh, someone put 50p in the, uh, in the lights because we might wow. need that later on. Okay. Well, it's a good job. The games are ahead of schedule Yeah. with, with this going on. How far are we going to go? Well, Ash didn't uh, didn't even think about a penalty <laughs> shootout in the group stages. <laughs> well, you think when you've got oh you what know, a finish goals, uh, goal difference, then goals scored, then head to head. You'd think actually if you're going that far, there's going to be one yeah, difference yeah, somewhere. You'd be able to find yeah. something to, to yeah. split the two. All right, here we go. Pressure on this one must score and, and does. does. Yeah, puts it away nicely. Yeah, so we're back to uh, four, as we four, were. Yeah, it's e equal. Is that does that mean both teams got the same? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Okay, let's see. Let's Goal. Keep, keep it scored these, again. These are great penalties. <laughs> they really are. So I'm taking it. We're down to sudden death now. If the keeper's taken two. Uh, yeah. Well, they're just on a rotation of three or four players, I think. Because there's not great, huge match day squads, are they? So. No, no. And we must be what seven all, eight all. Yeah, something like that. And oh, scored again. Oh, cheeky, cheeky. <laughs> Send the keeper the wrong way in a, in a five-a-side goal. That's an achievement, that is. Well done, sir. So when do we get to toss the coin then, Jace? <laughs> I don't know. With these two, the coin will probably land on its edge. <laughs> we still won't be able to separate them. And oh, oh, goal again. And we keep going. So pressure on this one. He must score to continue this remarkable shootout. And he does. Yeah, he puts that one away well, doesn't Keep he? Go in. Wow, this is amazing. This is amazing. Some fantastic penalties. Saved. All right, okay. So, advantage. St. Martins. Surely if they score this, it's all over, Jace. Yes. Because I've lost count of how yes. many we've No, had. this is it. He must score. He scores to go through, save, and we carry on. Yeah. Scored. <laughs> and eventually we have a winner. Yeah. Eventually we have a winner. So, well, that was St. Martins. That oh, was St. Martins, yeah. So St. Martins are through as group winners. Uh, that's group. Winners. B. Yep, in group B. So they will play. Uh, we assume Team Drifters mm -hmm. from Group A. Mm -hmm. And it means Talk United Yellows are going to face off against Argyle Greens. Okay. All right. Okay. So I, I can't confirm the semi-final line because we're still missing 
um, the result from St. Martin's being Talk United Blue. Mm -hmm. Although we think it was nil-nil. Yeah. It's not, uh, not yet confirmed. So we're just waiting okay. on that. Uh, and then we will be able to bring you the full, the full lineup. Jace, I'm going to have to leave you for a minute, and uh, I'll I'll come back as quick as I can. A uh, little boys' room? Uh, could be. Okay, they shouldn't have eaten those chips. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> so, with Richard Mason out of the way, now I can tell you, uh, we're going to do a special feature here today: the truth. Uh, about Richard Mason. Yes, well, well worth a listen. No, we're not going to do that. He's a uh, nice guy, Rich. Pleasure working with him at Coach Road. Uh, he pops in quite often into the uh, front office with myself and Matt Barrett to see what actual work looks like. And it's a uh, uh, pleasure to have him. Unless he sits on the chairs, of course, because he breaks chairs. Uh, it's a true story. We had two, uh, two stools in our office and he came in and broke one. So now we've only got one left. So there you go. So, um, yeah, I'm just waiting for confirmation of one result. And then uh, we'll be able to bring you the full uh, semi-final lineup. Or quarter-final lineup, I should say. A bit presumptuous uh, uh, of me to pick the teams in the semi-final. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, so far, it's been great uh, to have your comments uh, and interactions. Uh, you know, and all the players, when you watch this later, yeah, we've seen some great walking football so far. Thank you very much for that. That's some uh, cracking penalties. Don't fancy us uh, finishing early tonight if we have uh, have to decide in these quarterfinals and semifinals on the penalty shootout. We could be going quite a long time. But we'll see, uh, we'll see what happens. As we still await <laughs> results. Here and as soon as we've got them, we will bring them to you. Um, this is our last uh, county cup final this season here at Coach Road. Um, so thank you to everyone that's been part of, of all the ones we've done so far, from you know under 13s all the way up to those in the St Luke's Cup. Uh, it's been great. We've seen some fantastic football here, and. We not far away from our first, believe it or not, our first County Cup final of next season. Because on the sixth of August, Saturday, sixth of August, here two o'clock kickoff at Coach Road, we host the final of the Pro Direct Champions Cup. Now, the Pro Direct Champions Cup is the four winners of the adult Saturday leagues across Devon. So the winner of the Devon Exeter League in Lapford, uh, they're hosting the winners of the North Devon League Park United in semi-final one. And in semi-final two, Buckfast League Rangers, who won the uh, Torbay Clearance Services South Devon Football League, are up against DC Autos, who won the Plymouth and West Devon Football League. Um, and they will come, they will play, I think they're both playing the Saturday before, and the winners then come and compete in the Pro Direct Champions Cup. So, yeah, Saturday 6th of August, 2 o'clock kickoff. Uh, Coach Road, you're more than welcome to come along and watch the game. Uh, or you can watch it live on Facebook and YouTube, or if you fancy coming and get involved, great to have people. So if you want to come and push buttons, point cameras, uh, be part of our ground stewarding team, uh, yeah, just drop us a, a comment or email info at devonfa.com and it'd be great to have you along. So um, I'm going to kind of take a punt that we've got these, I don't know, because there's two results we're missing from from Group A. And as soon as we got them, we will confirm the semi-finals. But Group A, Talk United Yellows are definitely through, 100% uh, there. And we think they are going to be playing Argyle Greens. And we're just waiting for confirmation that in the other quarterfinals, it's going to be Team Drifters against St. Martin's A. So I'll keep trying to fill whilst we wait for somebody to bring us... Uh, these results. Uh, I see plenty of pieces of paper being handed out, uh, but nothing, nothing to us. Uh, yeah, Richard Mason is now back. I'm back. Yeah, uh, we still got no results, mate. Oh, okay. 
So we still don't know what's uh, what's. Would you like me to find out from Ash? Need to find out from somebody. I will find out from Ash. Be good. Right. That's some interesting uh, uh, stats there uh, with Greg Dyke and his investment into senior football. So we'll uh, try and grab a word with that chat later and give us a little bit more information. But I think we might have some uh, some results. Right. Well, I haven't got the results for you, but I've got the draw for the quarterfinals. Which is no good because I need the yeah. results to calculate said draw. So, um, yeah, I don't know where they are. Ash has got them or Scott's got them. That's extra pay for that, mate. Right, so there's confirmation uh, on screen of your quarterfinal lineup. Um, so, Talking United Yellows against Argyle Greens. Team Drifters against St. Martin's A on pitch B. Uh, pitch 3, or uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, got named as 66 against Argyle Pilgrims. And King Staten facing off against St. Martin's B. Are you all right, Rich, there for a minute yeah, while yeah. I just adjust yeah, this camera yeah, back I'm, from I'm our good. penalty shootout? Yeah, thank you. And then we're, we're away. Yeah, so we're now into the uh, the business end of the uh, of the tournament. Um, league games are all done. Um, there's a bit more tactics going on now. There's a bit more talking of tactics. There's uh, little huddles going on around the uh, around the pitch, um, with you know a bit bit more of you know you need to do this, you need to do that, you need to mark this player, you need to mark that player, you need to keep your mouth shut. You know, there's all little bits like this now that are uh, are coming in. So yeah, well done to the eight teams that have qualified for the quarterfinals thank you to the teams uh, that didn't make it to the quarterfinals for making it such a good event um and and enjoy the time in the corner flag bar because i know you will um as i as i had to disappear just now i went past the uh, corner flag bar and uh, yeah it was quite busy in there so uh, enjoy your evenings um we've still got uh, yeah st martin's 
We've got both teams through. Argyle got both teams through. Um, so, yeah, we never know. It could end up. Could end up being. Uh, could end up being an all St. Martins final. Or an all Argyle final. Or an all Argyle final. I didn't want to say that first, Jace, because you'd say it comes in Plymouth. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it is unusual for you not no. to go start with So, uh, yeah. We've got Torquay Yellows and Argyle Greens on uh, the pitch furthest away from me at the uh, clubhouse end. We've got um, Newton 66 and Argo closest to me. And then outside the shed, we will have uh, St. Martin's in Team Drifters and... Uh, Pitch nearest to the camera will be King Star- King Stanton. King Stanton. Um, oh, King uh, Stanton. I was thinking about where I live. King Stanton. Uh, uh, King Stanton against St Martin's B, which is the one that's kicked off, and uh, Argyle and Newton sixty six kicked off in front of me. So. Okay, so uh, Rich, give us a winner. <sighs> Talk United Yellows. Okay, I'm going for. 66. Oh, yeah, Newton Abbott. Yeah, well, I live in Dartmouth. So I know you do, but well, that doesn't matter. Mm. Yeah, 66. Let's see where we Well, we know, we know who our um, esteemed colleague, who's not here tonight, we know he'd be cheering on, don't we? Yeah, well, are they wearing a mentality kit, are they? Well, <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Yeah, we do, they're not. <laughs> no, they're, they're not. <laughs> they're not, but so we know he'd be cheering on. here on pitch D. Yeah. Campbell not given. No. Nope. Correct decision, Robin Connolly. So the giver of our first and only yellow card so far tonight. Mm. So no goals in any of the quarterfinals so far. No, not yet. We'll get some. Otherwise, we'll have we'll be here all night. <laughs> We're not going golden goal at the end of this, are we? Oh, no. no <laughs> straight no, to penalties. Yeah. Straight to pens. No extra time. Straight to pens. Um, yeah, well, I hope we don't go to pens, given what happened in that last penalty shootout. Oh, I know. I don't think we've got time, mate, to be <laughs> fair. We'll have to come back tomorrow. Oh, the lights are on. Ash has just put the lights on. Well, it is getting a little bit... Um, did, he, did he ask yeah. permission to do that? Well. Oh, he's got to pay for that, mate, hasn't he? Oh, what a strike. Oh, what a save. Yeah, what a save as well. Great chance there for uh, 66. So still no goals. You're not missing any action. Oh. Oh. Plenty of shots uh, yeah. Shots going in. Oh, just to choose the wrong camera there. <laughs> Graham Fisher at the back there for 66. Absolute club and South Devon League legend. Yes. Yeah. No goals over on these. Uh, I can't even name the pitch. The two pitches over here. I don't, <coughs> know, don't know which ones. Well, the shed and uh, yeah, uh, yeah. and the, the non-shed. Over this end. Yeah, your end. <laughs> <laughs> Chance at my end. Oh, great save. Argo with a, you know, one-on-one, -on -one really, and uh, couldn't put it away. Fantastic save by the keeper. Diving away to his right. So if you think now, Rich, with this, all right, you, could, you could realistically play in a County Cup final for 50 years. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you could, yeah. 50 consecutive years. County Cup finals, finals, yeah. We've got our under-12s. County Cup final youth and girls this year. Mm -hmm. Oh, goal, 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 goal. So, Talk United Yellows. My tip. Yeah, against Argyle Greens. They've taken the lead. 1-0. Uh, Still no goals in the other three quarters. Oh, oh. what a chance. Eds. Oh. What an opportunity we had on the pitch oh. right in front of me there. Was it? Oh. Uh, you know, just to keep it a beat, and nearly took out you, was it? Yeah. Well, yeah, I did shout heads because there were uh, there were Newton sixty six players who were, were watching their game. The balls cleared the net in between the uh, pitches, and and you know, nearly done some damage. I, I noticed you didn't know try and protect Joanne. 
No, I was thinking more of, um, well, as you keep telling me, yes. no equipment's been damaged this, Absolutely. this yeah. season. Well, so. it's not, it, well, we've only had it once, haven't we? Yes. Where we had a laptop destroyed by a ball. <laughs> by a ball. <laughs> Just came straight <laughs> through. Yeah, <laughs> smashed the back of the laptop, laptop gone. And, you know, so, yeah, let's uh, hope that that doesn't happen again. But, uh, yeah, I don't know where to watch now. All, all four pitches are on again now. Well, we could end up with, you know, uh, we've got a result so far in one. Mm -hmm. You know, Torquay United Yellows taking the lead against Argyle Greens. But the others could all go to Pens. Yeah, they could. So we could have three penalty shootouts to cover. Mm -hmm. um, not sure how we'd do that. <laughs> but we'll, we'll do our best. Yeah. Hope you got a pen and a piece of paper down the, there. The, the, the game in front of you, Jace. Players just been uh, penalised for a sliding tackle. Sliding so, tackle. Yeah, what not, what allowed, going not allowed. To, not allowed sliding tackles or play the ball on the floor. So, given what we've uh, seen so far, Rich. Yep. Is Robin Connolly our referee of the tournament? Oh yes. Yeah. Definitely. He, he's controlling everything. He's, isn't he? he's doing really well. Yeah. Um, Taking taking no nonsense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, no. Robin's uh, Robin's doing really well. As they all are. There you go. Top of your screen on the right hand side is uh, you know our vote for referee of the tournament so far. Mm -hmm. Kit of the tournament. Um, the pink one. Saint, Saint Martin's pink. Yep, go with that. Yeah, we're, we're not doing goal of the tournament yet, are we? Well, no, no, because we're only at quarter final stage. <laughs> See what happens here. He's going to have a no. And no. St. Martin's cleared the ball. Oh, and he's done it again. No, no. He really doesn't like getting... He's and, done uh, it again. And, he's, he's not, and this time he's tried to take out an Argyle player. Do you reckon he was trained by Ashley Harris? Well... That's the shooting of an Ashley Harris. Yeah. Yeah. Although, at least that stayed on the green stuff. Didn't clear the whole fence. Well, no, you, you, you kind of talked about it in the... Um, in the Disability Cup broadcast, didn't you? Oh, when he cleared the uh, stand. Yes. Yes, with one with one of your new yes. county cup balls. Brand new ball. Just going to take it out, kick it around a bit. See what they're like. Yeah. Boom. Over the f over the f fence, over the stand, cleared everything. He's goal. Goal. King So King Staten with a goal. So that's uh, one nil. Yes. Keeper's not looking happy with that. So King Satan won, St. Martin's uh, nil. Oh, nearly a chance for... Should have been a goal at the top of your screen there. And Talk United Yellows against Argo Greens is 1-0. The other two games, 0-0. Oh. Another good chance there for uh, Newton 66. It's 0-0. So 66, nil. Argyle Pilgrims, nil. And I think the other one's Team Drifters, St. Martin's A. Nil yeah, nil. nil nil. So we've had a goal at each end, yeah? <coughs> yes, you've had one, I've had one. Yeah. Could do with a few oh. more goals. Chance for. Uh, oh, no. Sorry, I was watching your end of the uh, of the game then. Sorry, I'll, I'll go back to my end. I'll go back to my two games. Sorry, sir. It's all right. It's just action everywhere. It it's is, yeah. It's, it's it great. Is. See, so I can imagine there are people out there who go, oh, walking football. Come and have a look at this. Yeah. I'll great. tell you what, right? It's absolutely if fantastic. You're, if you're in your senior playing years, come and play it. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Male or female? Yeah. I come, bet, come along. I bet Jeff Breslin would dominate this as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, G-Man's doing quite well. Oh, I see G-Man, legend. <clears throat> Chance for 66. Oh, just wide. Pulled it just wide. Just a question, Jace. Oh, go for it. On, on, the, on the laws of the game. Uh, yeah, well, you're the idea. Yeah, Why yeah, are you asking me? Yeah, well, no, I just want to. Balls at a play, can they run back into position? Um, technically, mm. yes. Yeah, because balls at a play, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. 
That's right. That's Why what are I'm, you asking me? Well, that's what I was. I was just checking. Well, hang on. Let me ring the RDO. Yeah. Hang, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hello, Jace. What's yeah. what's up? Rich, in yeah, walking go football, on. Yeah, go on. when the ball's out of play, yeah. can they run into position? Yeah, I think they can. Excellent. Okay. Thanks. Right. Cheers, pal. Thanks. Thanks. Rich? Yeah? Yeah, they can. Oh, okay. Thanks, mate. You're welcome. Thanks. I'm glad you... Who did you ask? Hey? Did you phone a friend? Oh, no, no. I knew it. I knew it myself. Oh, okay. Yeah, my own knowledge. Right. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, mate. <laughs> That's what I love about you, Jason. Uh, yeah, always, always <laughs> uh, happy to share the credit. Yeah, yeah. So, still only got the two goals. Yes, we have in four games. <laughs> and they're, they're ten minute games now, aren't they? Yeah, There's none of this seven no. minutes each way. And no, ten minutes straight through, and then they get a little bit more of a break between the quarterfinals and semi finals because, you know, they've been here since uh, six yeah. o'clock. Mind you, some teams turn up at half past four. Obviously, keen to get a warm yeah. up in. Uh, f- first one's going to Pens. <sighs> oh, dear. First one's going to Pens. At least, at least Sam's going the right end for it. Sam's going down the bottom. Okay. Second one's going to Pens. Right, so the the, <coughs> the, the two games... Oh, no, this one's, this one's a result. That now, one's got it? a result, isn't it? That was King State and 1-0, wasn't it? Yep. Oh, dear. So who's going to win this? <coughs> 66 or Argo? Uh, well, my, 66 were my pick, weren't they? So mm-hmm. I, I've kind of got to go for um, 66. Okay. Right, so I'm just going to jump up here a minute, Rich. And what I'll do, um, I'll if I change this camera. Okay. I can. I'll, I'll try my best to bring you this penalty shooter. So let's go, we're all the way down there. There you go. Okay, so we're, we're live. <coughs> we're gonna actually commentate on a, on a penalty on shooter. A penalty shoot, eh? So when we get the, because we've got another game that's likely to go to pens. Mm-hmm. So we'll see if we can jump across to that one as well. Okay. And we'll try and bring you both. There you go. So, 66 are in the blue and white. Argyle greens are in the green white shorts. <coughs> <laughs> and down the other end is, is that St. Martins and Strollers, the, the other game? Yes. And let's see what's happening. So, we get penalties underway. 66 going first. Uh, yeah, it looks like it. <coughs> I've, got, I've got to say, I'm going to have to move seats because I've got a... Um, Chips? No, I've oh. got a, a floodlight stanchion in the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, watch it live. Uh, uh, I'm trying to. <laughs> well, I'll tell you. It's a 66 up first. And mm. it is... Scored. Oh, what top, a finish. Top bins. What top a finish bins. that was. So that's that one. And just whilst they have a look over there, they're shaking hands over in this game. So this game's going to go to penalties as well. All right. And, and so you know <coughs> the uh, Torquay Yellows game's finished as well. So, uh, so it's just Argo white. step up so and, and scored. Oh, yeah. So they're all shaking hands over here. So we think that's a Torquay United Yellows win, yep, 1-0. We, we think so. So back to the pens. It's one all in pens after one. So three penalties and then sudden death. Mm-hmm. So let's see what uh, oh, G-Man Graham Fisher. Oh, scored. slots it in the bottom corner. Gently I think, he, I think he gave the keeper the eyes, you know. <laughs> well, I literally gave him his eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Get some abuse <laughs> off Eddie Green behind the goal. <laughs> Okay, uh, you're not missing anything in the other penalty shoots that they've so not started yet. I'll go step up. Saved! Wow. Saved. So, uh, 66 for the chance. Yep, absolutely. So, uh, score and it's all over. Oh, right, just bear with us a second as we 
just going to switch. You're going to miss a little bit of this. Hang on. So, 66, step up. Scores! <coughs> and uh, 66 go through. 3-2-1 uh, penalties. So there you go, that's that one's finished. That one, that one finished it in time. Oh, St. Martin scored the first one off the bar. Here we go. You can uh, let our viewers know about that one. Uh, team Drifters scored. So St. Martins steps up. Bottom corner. <coughs> St. Martins lead 2 1. So can Team Drifters get it equal after two penalties each? Big penalty coming up. And scores. So the Apparently it rolls on. Yeah. 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 St. Martin's. Oh, he's not going to stop that. <coughs> Sorry, Rich. Just uh, changing camera batteries over there. So Sorry. what have I missed? How are we getting on? 100% um, so far. Okay. And who won the other shoes at? Uh... Oh, that's it. Uh, St. Martin's have, uh, have won. Uh, Team Drifters missed the, missed the third penalty. So uh, St. Martin's and uh, Torquay Yellows. And uh, 66 against King Stanton. So you've seen my... Uh, this is... It, my team is still through, is that what you're saying? Yeah, I'm mine. But no, but my pick is still through, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and um, <coughs> you know we said about an all our goal final. Yep. Yeah, both gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that must really hurt for you. Oh, well, it does. It does. You know, it know does. how much you, uh, you you big up. No, I don't big up. Well, you do. There we are. Plymouth this, Plymouth that, Plymouth oh. the other. And, and how many how many players from? Hang on, I, I need to check this. How many players from Plymouth may reach my uh, team of the finals? Um, I don't know. Can there's, you remember? At least well, no, no, don't, you can't tell people. Two. You can't tell people. Two. It's, it's not been... Um, two, three, four, five, it's, it's not, eleven. No, no, it's not, you can't say that. Twelve? No, look, it's not been broadcast. No, it's, uh, it's ready to go, though, isn't it? It's ready to go. It'll be, going, it'll be there tomorrow, I think. It's coming out tomorrow. So there you go, semi-finals. Talk United Yellows against St. Martins A. And it's not King Stanton against King Stanton. Why have I put that up? Let's I don't know, it's Newton yeah, 66. Let's, let's get that. Let's get rid of that. Are you, are you, are you becoming the new Matt Barrett and just want King Stanton to win everything? Yeah, possibly. Okay. Possibly. Well, it'd be sure to go through then, wouldn't they? Oh, yeah. That's better. Well done, Jesus. No, you're welcome. Obviously, now all the all the errors that I've made, I'm I'm forgiven for as well, aren't I? No. Okay. I'm still way behind you in terms of errors, mate. But mind you, mine mine tend to be big ones. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not even going to start. I'm not going to start. I'm not going to say anything. All right. I'm not going to say anything. When I get it wrong, it, you get it wrong, big style. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, it's go big or go home. Isn't it? <coughs> yeah. Well, go actually, big actually go home. you went big and we nearly went home. <laughs> <laughs> right, there you go. That's better. Look at that. Kick State to go 66. Uh, so that's your two semi finals. Talking about Yellow St. Martins A, King State in 66. Uh, being played on the two pitches bang in front of us. So 
That's going to be an interesting challenge for us camera-wise. Uh, but we'll do our very best. As ever. Right, let's. So you're now going to be looking at a little bit of this game here. So we'll show you some of that goal. We'll show you some of the other goal. All right, building up to this. So we, we could, our picks on the quarters could end up playing each other uh, in the final. Oh, you imagine that? Yeah, I'll just cut you off. No, I'll, well, yeah, some things never change. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Bullied by Hayward. Bullied by Hayward. Hashtag bullied by Hayward. No, let, well, yeah, all right, fair enough. <laughs> I'll give you that. Hashtag. Bring back Hopkins. Yeah, but that would be your job gone. <laughs> not, not mine. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't think that through, did you? <laughs> we miss Annie. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, so. You still there, mate? Yeah. You know, <coughs> you know when I put all these cables back in the box the other yeah. day. Yeah. Right. They were all sort of done up nicely and everything else. Okay. Right? And and how do they manage to get so twisted and everything in the box? Have you got a little twisting machine that you put them through? Or it's, it's, <coughs> Nina's got an answer for this because she always refers. Uh, to be fair, Nina's probably got an answer for most yeah, things. Yeah. She <laughs> always refers to it as the Tangle Fairy. Oh, okay. So you know when. You take your Christmas decorations down yeah, every year and, you know, you go to painstaking measures to wrap all the fairy lights up because they're a nightmare to get out. Yeah. So you put everything away neatly, don't you? And then you leave it in the loft for 12 months and then you go and get them back out of the loft and they're a mess. Yeah. yeah totally How has that happened? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Nina will tell you. The Tangle Fairy visits. Oh, Okay. And the Tangle Fairy goes up into the loft, finds things that are ni that nicely stored, and then just messes them all up. Goes and makes a right mess of it. Oh, right. There okay. So, uh, the Tangle Fairy. Ah. There you go. See, I never knew the Tangle Fairy existed. Ah, there you go. Thanks to my lovely wife, Nina. Joanne's just dropped the box as well, just to tell you. She's dropped the box. She's dropped the box. Put the cable back, dropped the box. How did you drop the box? No, I was just doing that big clunk. That was when she hit me. <laughs> I, thought you were, I thought you were being beaten again. <laughs> that was when she hit me, yeah. yeah. She's just putting the uh, the evidence back in her handbag. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we have got in front of you. So have you Talkie Yellows against St. Martins. So Talkie United Yellows in the what colour kit? Uh, yellow. <laughs> well done. <laughs> and over in front of me, we've got Newton 66 against King Stainton. And, and a Newton Abbott derby. And King Stainton are in what colour? Uh, King Stainton are in the not blue and white. Oh, okay. There you go, to help you out. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Good like that. Thank you. See, you'd have thought they'd have a white mentality kit on, wouldn't you? But well, they yeah. So. <coughs> no, we'll have to have a word with... Uh, with uh, Mr. Barrett. Well, apparently. maybe mentality didn't push the boat out far enough to cover know. the walking no, football some team. boat as well, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And, um, oh, hello. Someone just, don't know where that came from. <laughs> um, Eddie's coming out with the uh, the plinth. Um, I don't know, has, has Ash done the presentations for the league? No, they were oh. going to do them at the end of the quarters. Ah, so. okay. Okay. Chance, oh, great save. Another chance. Torquay had two great chances uh, early on. Oh, another shot and it's just wide. Wow. How they missed. That was unbelievable. Three great chances for Torquay. And they uh, scored how many goals? And it's still no, no. <laughs> two, two cracking saves and, and the third one just, just pulled it a bit wide. So, uh, yeah. Well, really just to share with you, it's still nil-nil over 
over on my pitch as well. It's, we haven't really had any clear-cut chances of yet. It's, it's a little bit of a midfield battle. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, teams will win the ball, try, try and spring forward, and they're just getting, you know, closed down. Not springing forward too fast, are they? No, springing forward in a walking okay. style. All right. Is that like gangland style? Yes. <laughs> Chance for some Martin's good shots. Uh, well saved for the keeper. Let's, uh, let's go back to a little bit of your game then, as you're talking about it on screen. Got uh, got Dan refereeing, one of our one of our newest recruits. That's a good ball. Chance chance for Torquay. And oh, that's that's a free kick. Pull back for yeah. the, uh, did he whistle before yeah. the turn? Yeah, he definitely whistled before the turn. Yeah, he's whistled for a uh, talkie okay, free kick. Got a little bit of midfield action over here uh, in this game, but still no real attacking opportunities. But let's stay with, should we stay with your pitch? Yeah, why not? Because we've got this... Uh, Attack for Torquay. Oh, great, great, save. great save. Great save. Oh. We've got an opportunity over here from King Staten, but the shot going above head heights is a free kick to 66. I've got to say, for, for possession, Torquay should be about 5 0 up. Um, but. Torquay keeper there. Keep, keep, keep. On, good, to, good chance. Another great save. St. Martins are just literally throwing everything in front of the ball. And, uh, yeah, it's still no now. So is this going to pens as well? They're both going to pens at the same time again. <laughs> well, I think we might have, you know. So two of the four knockout stages so far have gone to a penalty shootout. We had a penalty shootout in a to decide a league placing yeah. as well. Yeah, you know it's going to be one of those nights when somebody, yeah. there's a penalty shootout to decide who goes in the quarterfinals. Yeah. Is, is Dan going to put someone in the bin or is he just going to tell him to behave? Just going to say thank you. Thank you very much for trying to help me out there. Uh, fortunately, sir, I don't need your help on this occasion. So please allow me to referee the game. I'm mm -hmm. sure of the words that he's using. Yeah. Yeah. And controlled. Yeah. And he's actually told the player who kicked the ball away to go and get it. Yeah. You kicked it. Oh, and we goal! Go! Goal! Goal over here is your goal scorer on pitch. No, oh, D, is it disallowed? <laughs> oh. Disallowed. So back to nil nil. Oh, we haven't done a we haven't done a Barrett style goal celebration. Not yet. Yet, have we? Not yet. Not yet. We can save that for the final. Yeah, well tune in tomorrow and you'll you can hear the yes. Barrett goal celebration as we discussed it. You can you can hear it over and over and over again, like I do in my nightmares. <laughs> 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 Does Mr. Barrett know you refer to them as, as nightmares? Well, I think so. <coughs> Some talkie with an opportunity, but... Oh, good oh, skill. Good, good bit of skill. Uh, Chance. Oh, what a great, great save. save, keeper. That's what, that's what that keeper's been like for St. Martins. He's chucked everything in front of the ball. Literally everything in front of the ball. Let's oh! Go. Shot and just suits opportunity just it here wide, on, yeah. on my pitch. Oh. Can I do anything with no? Oh, oh shot oh, high, oh, high, wide and uh, not so handsome. Not so handsome. Chance for oh, disallowed Torquay. Eh? We have go, exciting, go, isn't go, it? Ghost disallowed in both games. Oh, nearly an opportunity there. Torquay breaking Chan yeah. again. Chance for Torquay. This is th uh, three on three. Support coming in. Oh, can't Couldn't break quite quickly, but they've retained possession. Oh, nice little flick up. I thought he was going to. Yeah, I thought he was going to turn and hit it. There it is. Oh! What, what do they need to do to get past this keeper? Is that, uh, is that your player of the tournament? Oh, so far, yeah. It's performance of the tournament so far. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. So Dan's whistled the game to stop, but uh, they don't yeah. want to stop. Yeah. So let's just quickly switch over to the uh, 66 King Staten game. 
again, you're not missing much. It's a bit of a battle. Chance to take Martins. Oh. It's oh. purely for a foul, but you're not going to get it. So, talking now, chance to break. Off the post! And then, oh. and then the rebounder has another shot, and it's just past the post. This, wow. uh, this is unbelievable at the moment. Appealing for decisions in the in the game over they here. There's not come in, so we've got an opportunity. And it's uh, another great save. I think they were appealing for the ball going high, um, but they weren't going to get that. Chance for it. Honestly, this has been talky. Oh, it's been really one-way traffic. Um, I know St. Martin's had one shot, but uh, yeah, it's been a really, really good game. Sorry, Jace, you still there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, oh, okay. Just uh, adjust to the camera. I think the camera oh. a little bit high, so uh, our viewers weren't actually seeing a lot. So we got an attacking opportunity. Both games. Uh, here. So which one should we go with? Let's... Oh, so mine's saved by the keeper, so let's switch across uh, to yours. Yeah, Dan's just having a quiet word with a couple of players. There was a little bit of um, jostling at, at the uh, taking of the free kick. Uh, nothing uh, nothing too major. Dan was quick to uh, spot it and uh, deal with it. See, players may be of a certain age, but they still want to win this. Yeah, of course they do. Of course they do. Same keeper that he, he's kept a clean sheet. Yeah. Oh, what a flick. All of a sudden, now there's a chance for uh, St. Martins. And, and it would be typical that St. Martins would have, you know, one shot on target and score. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> after, after they defended for their lives. They really have defended so well. Would it be, I don't know, it's kind of a difficult one. You can't say... Deserved victory because all the chances have gone to Torquay, haven't they? Yeah. Uh, but you know, on a performance-wise, with the defending that they've done, you wouldn't begrudge them getting something out of it. No, indeed not. Indeed not. Um. <clears throat> so we just had a shot put wide, and uh, yeah, same, was, same here. Yeah, I was going to say there was one close to, in your yeah. game as well. Yeah, so. you're not missing anything uh, in our game. Really, we have no clear-cut uh, chances so far. Not that teams aren't trying. No. It's just, you know, they're cancelling each other out somewhat. I think this 66 can say game's got penalties all over it. I think this one has my end as well now. Although there's one more chance for Torque. Is he going to play it right? He does play it right. Oh, it comes off his teammate and goes out of play for a St. Martin's ball. But in, in, in this in this King Staten game, King Staten 66, you go, actually, yeah, no surprise it's gone to pens, but... How has yours gone to Pens? <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> it's not at Pens yet, but... Uh, well, it can't be long yeah, left, no, surely. No, there isn't. There isn't long left. So, uh, yeah, it's been, uh, it's been a really good game. Chance for Torquay again. Oh, there, there it is. Go. There it is. There's the goal. I uh, can't say it hasn't been deserved. Cannot say that hasn't been deserved. Um, wow. That was that was a great finish. Um, just tucked it in under the keeper. First yeah. time that that keeper, you know, he's been beaten, and normally the post or the bar has come to his rescue. Uh, not not this time. Well, uh, to be fair, it, it had to be a good finish for that keeper, didn't it? Yeah. He wasn't going to get beaten by some scuff shot. No, it had no. to be a good finish. It, be, and and it, was, and a good, it was. It was a good finish. But you know, Can King State, they've got. Not long left. Uh, King State, St. Martins. Can they get themselves back into it? We've got a save oh, on the 66 keeper here, which is denied King State again. Uh, apparently, it's uh, hilarious to throw the ball away. Uh, yeah, that's not uh, that sportsmanship, and uh, you know, it's one of the things, one of my little pet hates when a player picks a ball up, mate. It's nothing to do with them. Chance for Torquay. Chance for King Staten, and it's saved by the keeper. And there we go. I've gone pens, mate. You've gone pens? I've gone pens. Oh, that's right. Leave the goals to me this end, then. Yeah. <laughs> I'll talk here of a free kick, my end. I don't know if you've got a chance to uh, get a camera on it or not. Yeah, we can certainly do that for you. 
I'll just keep half an eye out it's according to which end we're going to the pens here. And we'll get that uh, get that brought to you for the place in the final. Mm -hmm. Torquay keeping the ball now in the corner. And off. Oh. And Dan's got the whistle in his mouth. And there it is. Torquay win it 1 0. And they're into the final. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. wow. What a great game that was. Amazing, wasn't it? 1 0 one doesn't do Torquay any credit, really. No, you, you'd but think that one now, oh, yeah, they've yeah, just squeaked through. Yeah. They haven't. No, they had <laughs> lots and lots and lots of chances. Uh, uh, but when it won now, that's all they needed to do. Absolutely. So it's uh, it's one now. So Torquay. we're going to pens this end. Oh, okay. All right. So just see the celebrating plays over there. And Torquay got the opportunity now to just recharge some batteries uh, ahead of their their final so that's your that's uh, who predicted talkie yellows oh that'll be me uh, Joanne did oh no you did okay. right. that'll be me alright so there you go so you're looking at the goal that's been chosen for this uh, it's almost goal line technology in you know, the position of this camera um, <coughs> as we see and it is King Stainton <coughs> that are going to take the first kick steps up uh, oh what a finish I know they're small goals, but a finish there, the keeper's not going to get anywhere near it, is he? Nope. You know, if, you've got, if you're brave enough to get it off the floor, get it up towards the top corner, then, uh, yeah, no one's oh, going to save it. Hang on, let me just adjust cameras. Because our penalty taker is just out of shot. Oh, save! save. Well, that's all right. We've covered the important bit. This save, was the save, save, save. So, King Stainton, advantage King Stainton. Bring you this camera, which will be slightly better. There you go. Chance. Oh no. Oh, Sam's going to have the ball replaced. Oh no. One step. Shoots and scores. Ooh. Same place. Oh. Yeah. Puts that Ooh, right away. Nearly got your hand on that. Yeah. Would have had to have been a strong hand to uh, stop it from going in, though. Oh, gee, man. Scored in the uh, quarter-final penalty shoot out there. Yeah. What's he going to do here? He's going to roll it into the bottom corner like he did in the quarter. Oh, he's thinking about this far too much. There it is. But he exactly scores. Exactly the same. So, King Stainton with a chance. Score to win. Score to win. Score to win and to knock my prediction out. Let's see what they can do. Save! Save! Wow. wow! What a save that was! So two each after uh, three penalties each. That hurt the keeper. That has hurt the uh, keeper. That's the thing with veterans football, isn't it? They can get down quite quickly, but getting up again. Yeah. Oh, yes, getting, uh, getting up isn't the problem. I think he's <laughs> caught one somewhere quite sore. On the ankle. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so sixty-six now. The chance to uh, oh, saved again. Is that it? No. Nope. That was it. That must be it then. King Satan three. Yeah, it must be King Satan three. Four uh, through four three on penalties. Must be. So uh, yeah, there you go. Wow. There you go, Jace. We're, we're nearly there. Um, um, nearly there. One more game to go. And we're back on time. <laughs> no, we're, we're still ahead, aren't we? Uh, I, I, thought it was, I, I think th we're well ahead. Was it know? 9 o'clock kickoff? I thought it was 9 o'clock kickoff. Well, the presentations were due to be done at half nine. So oh, okay. I think if you're you're looking at this now, I think we're, we're well okay. ahead. Oh, Mr. Booley tells me it was 2-1. Two one two. Oh, I don't know. Mike Brooley's just put two one rich. How can it be two one? I don't know. Have you met what's, Mike Brooley? What's he watching? Oh, I don't know. Um, ah, maybe he's. Maybe that's the the odds he's got on your horse for next week. Uh, okay. Well, don't forget, I only pick winners. Yeah, I know you do. I know you do. 
as as was proved. Yada 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 yada. Well, he got he got winners too. Yeah, I I, I got uh, I got two. So there you go. That's your final. Talk United Yellows against King Stainton. So uh, for this one, Rich, are you are you going to uh, are you going to do cameras? Are you? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go and do this. Well, I, I, you know, I, I, I can't, uh, I can't go now and go against my original uh, forecast. Uh, talky yellows for oh, me. Can you not? Talky yellows for me. All right, fair enough. Talky yellows for me. This one. <laughs> uh, so yeah. So we got Torquay United. Who let me? Let me just find them. Are, are we having a uh, a stat on this one, Jason? Are we? Yeah, we're gonna uh, do. The, let me just. Talking United Yellows. Uh, yeah, I'm just doing the old graphics, Richard. So yeah, that's all right. I need to. Uh, I, I need to log in. So could you just tell me what um, site it is? I need to log in. Log into. Don't forget, it's not a normal computer that I use. Uh, Liga dot live. L i g r dot live. Don't ask me to tell you the passwords live on it. So no, 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 that's fine. Because I'm not going to do that. No, I, it's okay <laughs> as long as I. Uh, there you go. Right, so, so it's uh, it's Jason Hayward, and and the password is Mickey Mouse. Is that, is that <laughs> one? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> that's the one. Uh, what time are we kicking off? Do you reckon? Uh, I'm not sure. Let's go ten past nine, shall we? Uh, you won't see. Sorry, everyone. We're just uh, just chatting uh, to. to ourselves here as we sort this uh, sort of graphics out. It's the one good thing about, well, bad thing in, ter in terms of us for uh, live games like this, so we get no chance to create these uh, things beforehand. So here we go. Yeah, your game is is live and and is it ready? Is yeah, it? you might have to reset. Yeah. It, uh, it'll oh, just sorry. refresh your page. Uh, we have TUFC versus King. Yeah. Yep, that's the well one. We're in. Wow. Well done, Jace. <laughs> I'm you. impressed. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm, in, I'm impressed. There's not much that you do that impresses me, but uh, that is that is one. Cheers, pal. <clears throat> so anyway, thank you to Taking Care for uh, yeah, yeah, sponsoring absolutely. this event. That's a great show. Um, it, it's been a fantastic event. Um, it's been well supported. Everyone's enjoyed themselves. Also, thank you to Elevate for uh, sponsoring the broadcasts. Um, not just for this final, but all of our finals, the uh, player app. Um, and hopefully we may have some more information on uh, Elevate coming soon. Oh, what's coming soon? Well, no, what what do you said, know that we don't well, know? No, just, well, what you said earlier. Oh, uh, yeah, well, we're going to trial the old... Um, what's it? What's it thing, me jogs? Yeah, the um, uh, the skill sets and yeah, everything yeah. that uh, people get done. Yeah. So, so in fact, we're we're looking to start in the next couple of seconds, by the looks of it. So okay. if you could enter the plays, please, Richard. That uh, would be, uh, let me just see what I can wonderful. do. Oh, this is this is all different on a different computer. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was going to say, surely King Stanton's got another player there somewhere, or two. All right, so we have we have players entered, so uh, excellent. I'm, I'm hoping you can see that. So you're running for the squad. Just to let you know, viewers, if you can uh, just mute yourselves a, a second. The um, it's got a setup as two halves because it's a one minute three. After ten minutes, you stop and it's the end of first half, and it's actually end of game. Okay. All right, Bill. Yeah, and over to you. So let's uh, let's move this properly. Let's give you a full. And we're shot. underway. Uh, Torquay attacking the. Uh, Office end of the of the pitch. Uh, just trying to work something down there. Their right. Uh, it's gone out for a kick in to Torquay United. And there it comes. Ball's in quite quick. Nice turn. Oh, 
tried a shot. Not hanging about. Are they? No, they. Uh, it was. It was. It was on target. Oh, I can't do that bit. <laughs> I, I do only have the uh, the goals, and uh, so it is a basic. It certainly is. But that's good enough. <laughs> well, the thing is, we don't know the players, do we? No, um, no. Uh, and what people won't realise is that ahead of every other Camps Cup final, we've got the squads Quads, from the teams yeah. and we have to load them into the graphics programmes. Yeah. And uh, here, of course, we don't know who's in the final. No. And uh, it's a fair bit of work to load up the players from all mm, 17, 17 teams. teams yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there was a free kick then to uh, Kings Tainton. Uh, but uh, Torquay get the ball back. And it's oh, just, just cut out and keep us ball. He was about ready to shoot them, wasn't he? Yeah. Like taking off his toe. Yeah, he was. So. so hopefully you're enjoying the coverage of this, this final. And say we, uh, as Richard said earlier, as I said, as you said, we've tried to give every final the same coverage. So, you know, the scoreboard, you know, the commentary, we've done everything. Yeah, and, and even down to the... Well, I mean, this is only one final, Jace, but obviously yeah. on Sunday we had five, didn't we? And we didn't know who was in it until the semi, until the league had no, been finished. Because it came straight from the group, didn't it, yeah. to, the, to, the, to the finals. The finals so, so, yeah. I guess we've had a better chance to prepare for these with the quarters and the, and, and the semi-final. But it's been great. I, I've really enjoyed this evening, Rich. Yeah, it's been good. It's been good. Uh, chance for Torquay. Saved. Yeah, it's been, it's been really good. It, it's, uh, I've seen walking football before, but actually this has opened my eyes a little bit to really how good it is um and it's been it's been very skillful it's been well played it's been contested but nothing too i'm, I'm not gonna say too serious but too dangerous or anything like that you know it's played within the spirit it's been of the played within the spirit you know respect's been great um yeah they've 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 all played really well uh, and i think actually these are probably the best two teams that we've had um Oh, Mr. Chicks here eating, uh, easy, eating cheesy chips, that. One of our volunteers. Oh. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's been really good. And I think, Rich, can you... Is it fair to say that... Oh, Chance go, and is wide. Wow. Fair to say that, actually, you could have picked any from five or six teams to be Oh, in indeed, fight. yeah, yeah, indeed. St. Martin's will, will feel gutted they lost. 1-0 to Torquay. Yeah. As you said, they put everything on the line mm -hmm. uh, to stop them scoring. We just couldn't keep that that one out. Yeah. What a finish it was, though. Oh, well, yeah, definitely. Ball's gone out. It's a long way over that way, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the thing with these uh, multi-pitch setups when you're down yeah. to the last one. Yeah. <laughs> It's that shot that goes over the bar, isn't it? Then goes for miles, and someone's got to go. But there's, there's still quite a few people in the stand in front of me now, and uh, you know, pitch side. So it's it's really good. It's been well supported. Um, and I know the bar's done yeah, done quite well. Out of Joanne. Out of Joanne, yeah. <laughs> and Joanne's been in there drinking all night. So Liam Chick, one of your level four referees. Yes. Yeah, you're the audio. Yes, Did indeed. He bring you chips. No. Oh dear. No, no, no. Just, uh, it's all right. It's okay. Doesn't matter. I won't, I won't, uh, you know, I will. I won't forget it. Oh, there's a free kick for uh, running, I think that was. Wow, we haven't had many of them tonight. No, no. I've got to say, though, Liam Check has polished those chips off. And whatever well, he's, he's had no with time it. There, is he? well, you're not going to win that. You're not even going to run after that and keep that in. So, Rich, how long we played? Uh, we have played four minutes, 45 seconds. Okay. So, if it goes to penalties, mm -hmm. straight to pens, we've got no extra time. No. Nope. Same as all our other cup finals. You have to bear with us while we scroll through the, uh, the graphics for the second half. Yeah, it'll, it'll be on and off in a, in a flash, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, but stay with us right to the end. For, uh, we'll, we'll bring you the presentations Ooh. as well. It's, you know it's getting serious. Boxes of trophies are coming out. Tables out. Banners out. Okay. 
So, kick in straight back to goalkeeper, which is allowed in walking football. It is. Oh, challenge from behind there. You're going to always concede a free kick for that in walking football. Sorry, right, Ash wanted a little, uh, little chat. He's taking some chips off Liam, is he? Trigger. Trigger, Harris. Something about level four referees, isn't it? And eating chips. And eating chips. Chance. Oh, no, it's a free kick. Just a little, little contact, because it is it's a minimal contact uh, sport, isn't it? Well, yes. Walking football, so... Uh. Well, oh, good interception. Wanted him... Uh, wanted him inside the box. He was about two yards outside. Yeah. <laughs> chance. Chance. Big chance. And Great save. save. And another chance. Oh. Saved again. Is it... Are we... Oh, I've seen this before. <laughs> I have seen this before. Keepers putting everything on the line. Yeah, free kick. Um... For a bit of a handoff. Oh dear, you regret taking that. Quickly. Yeah, especially if this leads to something for King State mm -hmm. now. Indeed. Are we six, seven minutes in. Uh, yeah, seven minutes in. Spot on seven minutes. So, yeah, King State and chance. Oh, giving away. No a chance. The other end. Chance. No! Off the post! Wow. Oh, how close can you get without scoring? I have seen this all over. I've seen this before. I really have seen all this before. Are you St. Martin's in disguise? Are you St. Martin's in disguise? Wow. So they got a corner out of it. Wow. Off the post. Saves. Everything. But scores. Chance. Oh. So, uh, free kick given? Yeah. Or was it, uh, head height. Head height free kick. So, uh, chance for Torquay. Two minutes to go. Laid off. Oh. It's given out. Fell. Yeah. It's all the actions in this half, isn't it? It is, yeah. Laid off again. Go! Goal for Torquay with just under two minutes to go. Goal for Torquay. Kingston have got time to come back into it or not? Well, we're only going to find out soon, aren't we? In about two minutes. <laughs> oh, that's a free kick. So Kings Tainton chance trying to build down from the right, but um, Torquay have played pretty much everyone at the back. Kings Tainton have got a man to spare at the back. Uh, if he can, if he can be seen, or well, they can get the ball to him, then that's what they need to be doing. Torquay with a chance now to break. No, it's gone out of play. It's not going to get that. We're inside the last minute. So it's going to be a kick into King Stanton. Uh, it's going to, going to knock it in the middle of the park. That's it's oh. going to go long now, surely, isn't it? Chance for Torquay. Shh. Oh, side netting. It's got to go long. Got to go, go long. Yeah, it's got to go now. There's got no to time go. for messing now. No. The Torquay got it back. No. The player being just caught in the head there, but the referee's yeah. not stopping the game. No. He looked at the referee and then realised he was getting the free kick and now his head's fine again. Yeah, now, he, now he wants the ball. Yeah, now he's got and the he's, ball. He's got it. And we're There's inside. Goals. Oh, oh, dear. Oh, dear. Must be the head injury. That's um, that's 10 minutes up, so we're now on to... Uh, referee enjoyment time. Referee added time. I've not seen the board. <coughs> Oh, what a tackle. Oh, no, it was a free kick. Oh, dear. Bit of descent there. 
So where's, where's this going? Where's this going? He's got to, got to lay it square, hasn't he? Another free kick. Actually, Torquay will be quite happy with that. Sorry, behind the Chance. ball. Oh, <laughs> and there you go. Torquay win, 1-0. There you go, Jace. <laughs> That's your graphic done for you. <laughs> you moved on. Oh, I'll tell you what, I can't even do commentator cam because the other camera's banging. Oh. But let's uh, <laughs> give a special shout out to the man in the middle there. Which one? Robin. Oh, Robin. Robin. Yeah, yes. Robin was brilliant. Yeah, it's been great tonight. Yeah, it's isn't been it? great tonight, yeah. Uh, ably supported by Dan Eustace, who's been quality, Liam Chick. Yeah. Uh, Sam Gill, Eddie Green for stepping in. Yeah. And and Ash, yeah, Ash has Ash, got well, Ash. got lessons to be learned. Ash. Ash, Ash did a little bit, didn't he? So yeah, yeah thank you to all the referees. Uh, thank you to all the players actually, because they've been fantastic. Fan dabby dozy. Um, yeah, they've been absolutely brilliant today. Um, right, so stay with us because we've got the presentation to come. We have indeed. Uh, Jace, Jace, I don't want to, I don't want to say I told you so, but um, I think I predicted talky yellows. Just, just putting that out there. Um, yeah, so my prediction from the quarterfinals, uh, one. Here comes Ash, just about to do the tannoy. There comes Ash. Switch it on, Ash. You tell us to sit down. Sit down. Thank you. Thank you, Ash. So there's Ash on screen, so you can see. Mm. And uh, behind him is elite commentator Richard Mason. Ash is having a few problems with the, uh, the PA. You know. Well, he's fiddling with buttons. It's already set up. You yeah, just turn the I know, mic on I and know, speak. I know. It was all switched on. Everything was switched on earlier on. Because you used it. Yeah, I know. And I you know. used it quite well. I know. Uh, Right, we've got, uh, yeah, everything's switched on. Everything's. So, switched ladies on. and gentlemen, Try it now, Ash. it's uh, as, as Richard directs. Directs Aaron actually on how to use the microphone that's just plug and play. Yeah, I know, it really is Ash. Uh, we've got wait for the presentation. So, talking like, yeah, it was one amazing game. And King Stainton, our winners today. Amazing game, the talking. Uh, yeah, it talking. is working. Taking care. Taking uh, care. Walking football. So, uh, yeah, we've done that. Uh, we thank the referees and the uh, council members. Um, I'm just going to stick a, a, a mic now at Ash. So, saves me talking. Oh, right. as well, which is good, Brixham Town, Ilfram Town and uh, Charterlands that are interested in the league next year. Um, but we do have our two Premier teams that have reached the final this year um, and it was a closely fought game. But if we have the first up, the runners up, King State and RBL, up you come. So King State are on the way to, uh, to pick up their medals. Um, yeah, I can imagine that some of them have done that, that walk a few times uh, as as runners-up or as winners of uh, lots of experience in that team. Um, I thought the keeper was outstanding in the oh, final. absolutely. Excellent. And on to our winners. If we have the captain up last, that would be great. 
We've also got a double presentation. We've given out the, they won the Premier Division in the Devon Walking Football League and also they'll be collecting their medals for winning this competition. So if we can have the winners, Torquay United, Yellows, up you come. So here come Torquay uh, to get their medals. Captain up last. Yeah. Um, they've worked hard tonight. In fact, they've worked hard all season, haven't they? But uh, yeah, tonight was very, very special for them. Um, they've all, well, yeah, they're County Cup winners. Um, one of the 19 that we've had so far. 20, isn't it? 20? Uh, well, we were 18 finals and then we had the five on Sunday. Yeah. Cool, yeah. So 23. So this is final 24. 24 yeah. Final 24. One to come in August. Well, is that wow. number 25 or number one? Number one. Here we go. Big, big left now. Here we go. There it is. There it is. Winners of the Devon Walking Football County Cup, sponsored by Taking Care, our Torquay United Yellows. And don't forget this broadcast. This broadcast to you. was brought to us by Elevate. The the player development app. Uh, if you go on to Elevate, put Devon as your club, you get a seven-day free trial. Uh, or watch our social medias because if yeah. we're if we're doing the, uh, that'll yes. be fun. That'll be fun. There'll be lots of outtakes <laughs> of that one. one. Absolutely. Uh, so anyway, Jace, thanks for tonight. Um, not just for tonight, but everything you've done for the county finals. You know, I know. I know. Normally, you uh, you get left out. Um, but it's been a great um, thanks to Matt Barrett I know he's not here tonight but thanks to Matt for uh, doing the commentary Ben Reese, um, Stephen Caitlin um, Steve Brealey um, oh, guest commentators guest, guest commentators Matt Redmond's been here yeah Matt Redmond's been here all of our um, commentators all of our people that have been interviewed you've made it so special not just for, for yourself but actually for us as well it's been absolutely brilliant. Um, enjoy the summer. And we look forward to seeing you. Well, we've got a final back here in August, but we look forward to seeing you again and enjoy your football. But that's it from us uh, at the last cup final of the season. I tell you what, this is the longest goodbye ever. Jace, that's goodbye. We're going to run out of internet in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Bye-bye.